ladies and gentlemen, to Legends of Avantris, yes. episode 52, I believe. Uh, and yeah, so we right. are we are a bunch of nerds, uh, five of us here, seven of us total, that embarrass ourselves for your entertainment. We have been playing Dungeons and Dragons together for over three years now, 5th edition. Uh, we started with this very campaign in December of 2015, and we're still going. We're still going very strong. Going. And um, uh, we are going to the climax, we're all climaxing tonight, yes. as we wow. have our climactic... We have reached climax together. The, we've all reached climax together as uh, the party is facing out. Oh, this is a mature stream. Mature stream. Mm -hmm. uh, what are, what are the updates? Uh, we have, uh, you will be witness on Friday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern. What? So stay tuned for that. Then we have the Feywild. Call the Feywild on the Tuesday, and then we're back for Wednesday. Uh, we'll see what happens tonight. Who knows? Uh, maybe a genie will show up. <laughs> maybe our DM will monologue as a free action. Hey, hey thanks, thanks for the resub, so. whoever that Thank is. You. Fakega Mergle. Fakega Mergle. Show them what you want. Mergle. The Fakega Mergle. Okay, so uh, we're going to get into this quick because it's going to be a long night probably. Welcome, You're welcome to stay up late with us. It may not be. Who knows? Who knows? I hope it is. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. It, we, we're going to go as long as we need Kelsey to. Kelsey got two salads. And no one prepared. fucking leaves until I say, and that is where we'll end our session. No one fucking leaves. <laughs> <laughs> no one. <laughs> oh my god! That Does anybody out there know Morse code? <laughs> Does anyone feel like they're gonna throw up? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He's not. Anyways, uh, so uh, so a twist of faith. Twist of faith. Uh, every 500 bits that get donated, yes. uh, we get a free reroll. It works like inspiration, like Correct. a lucky point. Do we have, we two? have two? We have two. We have two. So we have two, two. in the in the docket, in but the we're bank. gonna have. And I'm not um, sure if they're gonna need it. They probably will. I think we'll probably um, need it. Yo, I hope you crank this up to eleven, brah. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe it'll be a joke. Maybe not. Uh, no says, can we at least get a water break? No. No. <laughs> no. no breaks. You may not. <laughs> there are no breaks from the legends of Avantris. Uh None. None. <laughs> oh boy. I don't sound like that in the other one, do I? What the Yes. No Gunter. No, no, no. Yeah. No, you're kind of like yeah, yeah, it's a little more airy. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> the plan, the plan. Airy, airy in. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're really derailing here. Okay, uh, let's go around. I'm going to introduce everybody. Uh, we have Nikki playing Sylvie Flicker Wicket. Oh, thanks for the trolley. Oh, Hold on, I'm not a mischeer. And a Scooby Ghost. Thank you, Scooby Ghost. Thank you. Thank you. We got a ghost here. Silly Flicker with double twist forest thing. gnome Sorry. warlock. Bam. Kelsey Bam. is Bam. playing Angelin Mossgrove, a wood elf ranger. Mm -hmm. uh, we then have uh, Andy over here playing Vanish Two Strike, a oh, high oh. elf rogue. We then have Richie playing Rodex Stonehearth, a uh. dwarf fighter. Uh, my name is it's Mikey. I'm the thing. ironing board DM. I literally DM on an ironing board, and I like to. Uh, uh, roll dice, uh, write fan fiction, and do silly voices, as you'll probably find out a lot from this session. And thank you very much. Welcome to all of our new folks. Why don't we just dive into what happened last time? Can I get a couple of just extra D20s that you don't need? This I need all of them. All of them. Oh, That's a bad sign. Okay, no. Oh, I, can give, I can give you one. Wait, uh, wait I can give you two. Need, I sure. can give you two. Yeah. Yeah. The, well, no, there's one. There's one, there's one in the owl bear. There's oh, one in the owl bear. Okay, well okay. then, then oh, I'll take my dice in the owl. Have the gold one. Have okay, we're good. Yeah. Sorry. What happened last time, Mike? You know, Tell us. What happened last time? Tell us, Mike. So you are going through uh, Alphonse LeBlanc's manor, the uh, mm -hmm. ancestral home of the LeBlanc family. You encountered Flora LeBlanc, Alphonse's sister, who just wanted to be loved by her parents. You then encountered Philip LeBlanc, Alphonse's disappointed father, who was a famed hunter, and you helped him li relive <laughs> his glory days of, of slaying the huge <laughs> serpent that inspired the crest of his family. He then took you to where all of the bodies were dragged, to an attic where horrible symbols were drawn in blood on the floor and at the center was the skeleton of a dog a dagger Aww. directly near its neck so he pulled out the dagger and the specter of the dog named Virgil showed up and it seemed as if he was your guide into the underbelly of the manor as each room that you encountered required <laughs> each of you including Amiria the uh, tiefling sword bard that travels with you and your your friend to to tell a secret to tell a fear and to tell a love you encountered horrific true homunculi tiny fleshy versions of you that were killed in this strange fluid 
but also adorable. And also, no. well, it wasn't not that adorable. adorable. <laughs> not no, really adorable. Sylvie was pretty not adorable. quite adorable. Maybe that's fine. So Whatever you guys want to do. Horribly. And then finally, <laughs> a chapel. A chapel where there was a statue of Saluna coming out of a full moon, but covered in blood. You didn't really know what it meant, but you noticed that Saluna had an open slot in her in her hand, and you remember the float, similar structure, but missing a mace. Miria pulled out of her locket, a tiny, tiny silver mace, and by placing it into the statue, it seemed to purify the altar. Virgil then leapt into it, and the altar slid back. You heard the sound of the organ blasting up from below, and you saw a flash of moonlight as you ran in. You saw a huge circular room, hissy bright orchard in the center, greeting you in Alphonse, Laudna, and Solaris on an elevated ensconcement built into the side of the wall to the right. And that is where we'll begin our session. I'm going to enjoy a sip of water. Are you guys not keto? No. You're all keto. Yeah. All right. I have an extra I'm hamburger. Not. Do you want to have you want a hamburger? I do not because I would puke all over our boss. <laughs> okay. I just forget it all. Don't puke on the boss. Later. Nervousness. Ah, I see. We're probably gonna die. Okay. Yes, a vampire is licking an ascension. Thanks, Derek. Brandy Did we sentence. spell it wrong? <laughs> Did I spell it wrong? <laughs> Jesus. <Christ. laughs> if this is a vampire lick, I'm gonna lose my mind. No. You're okay, standing no. at the entrance <laughs> yeah. of the huge circular chamber of the catacombs, bathed in the intense, intensified moonlight as the massive full moon looms over you, the ceiling now completely retracted, fully exposing the room to the night sky. Music blasts from the organ against the far wall as it echoes through the chamber. Directly in front of you, the undead form of Hissy Bright Orchard rises into the air, stopping at a hover about 15 feet off the ground with her arms to the sky. She lets out a single cry to the heavens. Saluna! Immediately, her entire body glows and she begins radiating light as she becomes nothing more than a shape in the energy that emanates from her. As the concentrated moonbeam engulfs everything, You see the whole floor of the crypt glow yellow, the same color as the alchemical circle that surrounds you. Then you hear Alphonse's voice call out from his platform, still seemingly separated from you by the wall of arcane force. Thank you, darling, for being so polite to our guests. We are going to give them a show tonight. In an adventurous first, you all have the pleasure and privilege a big audience to a vampire achieving lichdom. Most learned folks, even in the most prestigious circles of wizards, will tell you that such a thing is impossible. But nothing is impossible for Alphonse LeBlanc, for unlike them, I am willing to do whatever it takes to achieve what I want. And I will stare into any darkness that they dare not glance at so long as I find the answers I seek and found the answers I have. He glances at Laudna, who wordlessly holds her hands up at the ready, seemingly waiting for a command as he strides over to the succubus that is chained to the pillar. Solaris's eyes are wide with agony, but as she watches Alphonse approach, you see that they are blazing with hatred as well. Alphonse smirks as he approaches her and leans down low to her ear, but still speaks loudly enough for you to hear him. My dear Solaris, I know your brain has been mush for the past 300 years, thanks to my love potions. So now that your mind is yours again, just know that I always knew of your treachery from the moment you were gifted to me. That is indeed your master's hallmark, is it not? But you have more than made up for it by making me a true vampire, keeping my soul safe and sound, serving me tirelessly for those long centuries. And right now, the moment of your death, which will not be in vain. 
He gives a nod to Laudna and steps away. Solaris, who had been clenching her teeth with pain, steals herself for just a moment to force out speech. Alphonse! She's cut off with a shriek as dark energy shoots from Laudna's hands and engulfs the imprisoned succubus. Solar shakes violently as her previously plush body withers and the swirling necromantic magic drains her, running up her torso and finally localizing around her lips as Solaris' resistance gets weaker and weaker, now not much more than a shriveled husk. She lets out one final breath and out of her mouth emerges a flash of spectral blue light as you see a spirit that looks exactly like Alphonse emerge, but with a blank and vacant stare. It gets pulled out of the succubus and hovers in the air above Laudna, tethered by her tendrils of magic. Alphonse looks at himself with awe and admiration. A full moon at its zenith to remove a true vampire's soul from the succubus that sired him. Hissy dear, you're up! Immediately, Hissy clenches her fist tightly, and the radiating moonlight energy blasting from her changes hue, from a golden to a near black. And as you look up, you see the moon above you is no longer full, as a sliver of darkness has appeared and continues to grow. Before your eyes, in a matter of moments, the moon wanes to a tiny crescent, which is engulfed in darkness until a new moon hangs above you. The transmutation that circle that surrounds you and the floor of the catacomb follow suit, almost as if you are watching the perfect reflection of the moon in the very floor you stand upon. As darkness falls, an incredibly intense sense of dread washes over you. A new moon at its zenith to begin the binding process of a non-humanoid soul to a soul jam. In an instant, with a flash of gyrating dark magics, the energy tendrils once connecting Alphonse's spirit to Laudna's hands are now tethered to the chalice that Alphonse holds. As the horrible devilish soul wine bubbles and splashes, now that the entire room is bathed in darkness, Alphonse turns to you all as Laudna takes several steps back into the shadows. Now that we all have some time to chat, I must ask Sylvie, are you impressed? I told you that I have the power to help you achieve your potential. And after tonight, we will have an eternity to do so. He looks all at you, expecting an answer. Um, no, actually, uh, it just really seems like someone's trying to overcompensate. Are you guys ready? Uh, I've never been more ready in my life. Sylvie, I, I implore you. To reconsider. There's a look of near genuine confusion and hurt in his face. You spent your whole life thinking that you are not special, but you are, my dear. You do you not know the circumstances of your birth, darling. You are the seventh daughter of a seventh daughter, a moon child. I can smell it in your blood. And your patron knows that very well. She is not who she says she is. She is using you for that power in your blood. I alone can help you free yourself from the strings that puppet you. Just like I am about to forever free myself from the strings of the entity that sought to puppet me. I will give you answers you seek and more power than you can imagine if you would only join me. You talk about how I felt when I was young. That's because I had a shitty family. But I found one that means something to me. Rodek, Anulin, and Vandris. And after watching what you did to the people who were supposed to care about you, who you were supposed to care about, well, Alphonse, you can go fuck yourself. He looks at you. A look of... Hurt clutches his chest with his free hand. He says, Sylvie, I am hurt. Well, you are indeed a spitfire. 
and I knew you would be. I'm a gnome. Tough to wrangle. And the beautiful aura of a gnome you have, darling. But your mind is made up. And nothing I can say will sway that. True. It is true. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I don't need you, Sylvie. Good, I don't need you either. So why are we talking about this? Because I have my beloved. Isn't that right, Laudna? He turns to Laudna and offers a free gloved hand. As she steps up to take it, there's a look of awe, admiration, and adoration in her putrid yellow eyes as he pulls her close and gently caresses her face, his eyes glancing at you, Sylvia, and at the party. She looks up at him. Yes, of course, Alphonse. It can be just the two of us like we planned. And what a wonderful eternity it will be, my love. You have been such a delightful and loyal companion and confidant. I owe you so much for murdering your own husband, as well as Reeve's parents. Going to school to learn necromancy and even taking that nasty medicine I know you didn't like every day to enhance your powers. And even with that big brain of yours, there is no woman in a Vantress more beautiful. Her eyes grow as she looks at him, wider, and they fill with a look of unbound love as Alphonse's hand wraps around the back of her head, of her neck and slides up to her head to pull her in for a kiss. <clears throat> Lana looks up at him with wide eyes. Alphonse, I... <sighs> Lana's voice is cut off right before their lips meet by the sound of a horrific crack, followed by a pump as you see the widow's bulging skull burst with a sickening rupture of blood, bone, and gore as her body collapses to the ground with a thud. Behind her, Alphonse looks down at his clenched stained glove in disgust, still gripping several strands of black hair as he flicks off the glove in a single motion. Okay. Nasty business, my dear, and truly regretful, my beloved. But as you didn't know, unfortunately an unsuspecting betrayal is needed as the catalyst for my transformation, and Sylvie was just not cooperative. Well, it would have been a betrayal. I would have seen it coming a mile away. Your friends, darling. Alphonse is seemingly talking to himself as he stares down at the corpse now that his two longtime companions lay dead around him. He watches the nine rubies affixed to the golden chalice alight with crimson glow as the soul wine begins to illuminate and his own specter is pulled into the chalice. His eyes widen with grim satisfaction as he beams down at the transmutation circle and steps toward the edge of his platform. Hissy! Now! A full blood moon at its zenith to complete the ascension! Because he once again lets out a blast of energy that switches from black to red as the moon above and the ground below begin to wax, but the bright yellow from before has been replaced by an ominous crimson glow. Then, out of the corner of your eye, you notice something moves so fast it seems like a blur. And you realize that Amiria has sprinted forward. <sighs> no! And leapt onto the corner of one of the corpse slabs and off into the air. She's spinning gracefully towards Hissy. She hits the red radiating energy with a loud groan of pain as she drives through it, her armor, skin, and hair is clearly being burned as she pushes through the pain and collides with the halfling. Both fall to the ground and tumble across the stony floor, stopping the waxing of the blood moon. Relative quiet falls over the chamber as Emiria, horrifically charred, rolls over off the crumpled corpse. And you see Hissy with both of Emiria's scimitars lodged deeply into either side of her neck. Oh. The small form no longer moving, but her hand still glowing. The ominous red energy in her palms turned to a pristine silver light. Suddenly, the blood moon above you, hanging at half moon, begins to wane back to a new moon, and then wax again. Gone is the red moon glow, 
and a beautiful full moon now sits at, at zenith in the sky. You see Alphonse staring towards the sky with a look of rage on his face. He then turns to you with a flare of hatred in his eyes. He moves to leap at you, but then lets out a hiss and shields his face, falling to his knees as silver light explodes from the center of the room. Jesus. It takes your eyes a moment to adjust. But as soon as you see in the midst of the radiating glow, the form of a halfling girl made of pure moonlight, surrounded by tiny falling stars. Below her, you see Amiria stand up, seemingly healed of her burns, her eyes wide and filled with tears as she looks at the spirit smiling down on her. Hey, is it you? Like, really you? No bullshit tricks. <laughs> yes, it's, it's me. No tricks. But I don't have long. She is waiting for me. But before I go, I wanted to thank you for ending that hell for me and for finding the clue I left you to cleanse the altar. It was all the tiny sliver of me left in there could do. My last act of defiance. You see Mario raise up a hand as he tries to stroke the hair of the spirit. <laughs> That's my girl. Showing evils who's boss until the very end. And now that the very end is here, don't be sad. I am finally at peace and will be in the arms of my goddess until your time comes. Many years down the road. <sighs> Looking at the state of things, it may be several minutes down the road. No, it won't be. With your help, the power of your friends will be enough to stop this once and for all. Unfortunately, I cannot undo what has already been set into motion. When I fade forever, the moon will once again begin to phase. You must kill him before the peak of the blood moon, where the transformation will complete, and I fear not even your combined force will be able to stop him. As he looks to the four of you, as the shimmering silver moonlight radiates out of the spirit and bathes you in a calming glow, and you will enjoy the benefits of a long rest. I wish I could do more, but I know the heroes of Gullhaven, my home, don't need it. Please look after my Amiria. She needs people in her life more than she thinks she does. As Hissy's form begins to fade and the radiant silver light dims, Hissy's spirit lowers to eye level with Amiria, whose face looks pained and racked with guilt. I, I have to tell you something before it's too late. It's my fault that this all happened to you. I was spying on a small silver finger interrupts her. Shh. The past is past and nothing can change that. Don't waste our last moments apologizing. The spirit hovers forward to embrace Emiria tightly, who returns it in full as the pair begins to glow. I have to say goodbye now. I shouldn't need to repeat myself, but you're not the devil they said you were, and you have no penance to make just for being born. You're you. You're someone to be proud of. You're the person I fell in love with. Live a nice long life with your head held high. A life lived for you and no one else. Amiri's gaze is locked forward as she continues to softly radiate silver light as Hissy begins to fade to nearly full transparency. I will, and I'm going to kill this son of a bitch before he can hurt another person. My only regret will be that I wasn't able to marry you in the Church of Saluna like I promised. Goodbye, Hissy. As Hissy rises up out of the embrace and fades into the moonlight, 
you can faintly see the silhouette of an ethereal woman with long, white hair, her arms outstretched, as if to welcome the spirit into her arms, until the divine figure melds into the glow of the moon as well. Truly a tragedy that bards will sing about for centuries. Spare me. Sorry, guys. Cut scenes. I warned them about this beforehand. They were all cool with it. Uh, it's we fine. Said yes. We said yes before the. Yeah. Uh, uh, Alphonse. Fuck you, Mike. Sorry, guys. Ooh. Uh. Still clutching the devilish golden chalice upright, rises from his knees and futilely attempts to fix his hair. His suit now stained with the splatters of Laudna's blood and gore. Do you expect me to feel remorse for everything I have done? Do you expect me to let the very impetus of this ritual be my undoing? I refuse, divine intervention or not. None of you have seen what I have seen, what awaits me in death. I can promise you that if any of you looked into your afterlife and saw the same internal, eternal agony that I did, that all of you would have done the same to avoid it. There's a real fear in Alphonse's voice as he steps to the edge of the platform and with a wave of his hand, the shimmering cage of force fades with a rumble as the structural integrity of the lone pillar gives way and the vampire leaps forward as it crumbles, crushing the, the bodies of Solaris and Laudna. He leaps into the transmutation circle with you. As soon as he enters, you see a flash of yellow as the alchemical symbols on the floor beneath you light up once more. As he lands, you see the soul wine of the chalice begin to rise up at his command and slither through the air to his free arm, coating the entire limb and ending in five huge blade-like claws that look like they're made out of fresh blood. You know nothing of what I am trying to do. I have ascended past being a mere man. Nothing more than a miserable little pile of secrets, fear, and love. And I will not throw away my opportunity to ascend even further and once and for all escape endless torment. But enough talk. It is time to end this dance we have been engaged in for oh so long. I always had the feeling I'd have, I had to be the one to finally kill you all. But I am so glad to be able to enjoy that pleasure myself. How about you? Everyone roll for initiative. I don't know what dice to roll for initiative. Uh, let us reveal the map, please. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> the I am not, uh, gentle. I'm not in an emotional state Everything? to be rolling gentle, for gentle. initiative there, right listen, now. Up, directly up. up. Sorry. Sorry, I slid some things. A little okay, little this is going to be a little, so I'm going to have to. <laughs> Apologies for that, though, as a cutscene. Uh, Don't apologize to us for cutscene. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for, for bearing with me. <laughs> uh, so, fuck you, Mike. Yeah, fuck <laughs> you, Mike. Fuck you, Mike. You do owe me an apology for making me cry after I'd done my makeup, yeah. but that's a completely different I apologize for that situation. as well. Okay, so what I want you guys to do Oh, thank, you. Oh, thank you, oh, thank you, Thank you, Maya. That's amazing. Thank uh, you. Uh, what I'm going to need you to do is Alphonse oh, was over here in his ensconcement. He leapt forward. I'm going to say he oh, lands. He was over here in his ensconcement. He leapt over here, and I'm going to say place your your minis Ooh. anywhere in here that you would care to. Oh, in here. Okay. In there. It and place. then uh, could you, you place could, could you place Amiria like right here? Actually, no. She's oh. going to be like right here. Right here, here, got it. Yes, and we're here, roughly. Yes. And, and so, she looks fine now. She looks, she like looks she fully healed. healed. And as you see her rise Ooh. up, she's still glowing with the silver light, and her eyes are clutched tightly. And she sees Alphonse not too far from her, and her eyes open and stare at him with pure hatred and anger. And her eyes are now glowing silver. Okay. Uh, with that, I need I need an initiative rolls from everybody. I don't know it's I, it's thirteen. Really, I'm, thirteen I'm from Rodak. My moonlight days. Twenty twenty five. Twenty eight. Holy shit! Okay, Annual and Sylvie. Fifteen. Eleven. I fucked up. Uh, okay. Uh, <sighs> Annual is eleven. 
Last one. Okay, and let me just roll a few things here. Okay. Uh... Congrats on being a GM, uh, artificially. Congrats, pirate. congrats. Uh, it's a very rewarding, although terrifying, uh, profession. So that you don't get paid for. No. There's Alfonso's <laughs> token right there. <laughs> you make no bucks for. After literally in episode two, did we meet him? Or we first heard of him in episode two, I think. Who, who's who's, like, yeah. who's the person in the, the mini? Is it Kane from League of Legends? Because that's what it looked like. Uh, it that is. Was gonna be my question. I used. Well, uh, I mean, I'll just tell you guys. I used. Uh, what's his face? Marquis Vladimir. Duh. I yeah. figured it was. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's that from? Oh, thanks for the oh, sub! Thank the you, sub. African, African for Thank, thank you so you. much. Yeah, okay, that's so thank you. everything is set. <gasps> okay, everything is set. So uh, I, I need to do a little bit of metagaming business. The red sure. lines are not immediately apparent to you. Yep. This is going to be changing as the moon is changing. So oh, you can Jesus. see quadrants one, two, three, and four. Okay. And so you'll be able to see different phases oh. of the moon. You'll be able to just, uh, when I tell you to switch it, you can just pull the next one off, place it in phase, and then you'll correspond the darkness, and then whichever phase is at the bottom will be corresponding to what color light it is. You get up, you name the monster. No is everyone clear on that? Uh, no. Yeah. So well, do we see yeah. these guys though? Are these pillars? Oh yes. So as they're not pillars. So as you run up, you see the six slabs of corpses. They're covered in these worn cloth bandages, rotting corpses of various sizes and shapes. But I would say even in their various states of decay, these are unmistakable as the LeBlanc family, Vladimir, and Ingrid. All so lined up. Either. Caskets? Or are they like... They are like pedestals. catacomb, like pedestals. And like then raised the, graves. They're like, they're like raised graves, like in a, in a, a mausoleum. But basically, yeah. just yeah, basically like a look at a pedestal, and then without a coffin. Uh, they almost look mummy-like, but they're not like fully tied up and uh, and wrapped. Okay. So the bodies are on top of them. Correct. Okay. Got Correct. It. They're on top of them, and their arms are folded, and they're covered in these worn bandages, these rotting corpses. Okay, Vandus, you're up. What are you doing, man? <gasps> all right. Uh, Amira, are you all right? She looks at you and says, like. Uh, I'm fine. I feel better than ever. She she made me feel better than ever. Alphonse, with my dying breath, I swear to gods, you will die tonight. One of us will tonight, Vandras. Let's see what you got. I immediately use my bonus action to dash to him. Okay. Um, and then I am going to strike. Okay, you do that. Are you gonna going to true strike? Unfortunately, no. <laughs> that would like quarter my DPS. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna use a lucky die right off the bat. Okay. Fuck. Um, so I can just use the eight, um, and it's gonna be plus ten, so eighteen. Eighteen <laughs> hits. Okay. And so, lucky what break are you using? I am using Edward's uh, final. Chapter. I would say during the cutscene, if you would like to say that you ignited it, that'd be fine. Um, okay, I'm gonna have I, I will I will have said that unless you allow me like an extra bonus action and I yes. just wanna use my the activation word to say uh, this is for Edward. Oh. And and then I'll have dashed it at Alphonse. You as soon as you say this is for Edward, uh, it ignites into this blue flame, similar to the spectral light of the spirit of Edward that you saw. You see Vandris with his brand new flaming rapier in hand, sprinting towards Alphonse, who's looking at you as you approach, and the flaming rapier stabs into his form. Uh, so I get my regular damage. Which is going to be 9, 10, 11, plus 12 is 23, plus 10 is 33, plus 6 is 39, plus 10 is 49 points of damage. 49 points of damage. Fuck yeah. As you stab the rapier in, the blue flame singeing his undead flesh as it stabs in, and he, as you stab him, that there does not seem to be any kind of blood. Go ahead. No, 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 it's fine. I'm, oh, I was just before as, the next person goes. any kind of blood, however, the... The, the wine, the blood wine from the chalice seeps down at the wound and lashes out at you as he uses a reaction to use his blood armor. What, uh, can you make a, a dexterity saving throw? Oh, shit. A dexterity, you say? <laughs> yes. Uh, do I have advantage on those? Or no? Uh, no, I just, you're proficient. I'm just... I'm just... Correct. Uh, 
20. 20. So oh, as God. this, uh, as it, the the, the, the horrific soul wine okay. dives into your into his wound and lashes back out at you, it, you manage to barely dodge out of the way as a blade itself stabs out of his wound. And it says, that was a lucky one, Vandress. You struck true and I know my brother's blade. You can kill him later on, and then with that, it is. Uh, uh, how much movement do I have left? Because I have like one twenty. Oh uh, yeah, go whatever you. I'm just is. going to. U- oh, I've already used my. Oh no, no, fancy footwork. I can disengage for free, and I'm yeah. going to move back to Amiria. Got it. And make sure that you, she's. You would have. How much is? I mean, that's why I was. Wasn't you sure. could probably get like there. Okay, sure. yeah. that's fine. Yeah. I'm just going to disengage basically, yeah. and that's my turn. Okay. Uh, and with that, he is going to. Uh, he's going to look at you as you approach, and he is going to raise raise the chalice up, and you see his hand turn, his gloved hand glow blue and almost turn to ice as uh, as you start to feel a horribly intense chill come over you. I need you to make a, uh, what are you making? A saving throw of some kind. Uh, that will be a, uh, what is the saving throw of chill touch? Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Uh, that Ooh, sounds like it's dicks. Oh shit! The fuck? You said con? Yeah. Twelve. Fuck. Twelve. Uh, so uh, this hits you, dealing three. That sounds like a lot. Thanks, everybody. Con. Yes, <laughs> Thank you. I love Thank it. You. Nine Thank points of necrotic you. damage. <laughs> as, you guys, a cold necrotic. Aura comes over you, Shit. and it seems to linger on Dispatch. you, and you cannot regain uh, hit points until the end of your ne- until the end of your next turn. Okay. Uh, and with that, it, uh, that's his legendary action. So that's uh, that's one there. And then um, with that, it is the layer action's turn, <laughs> and he looks up to the sky as he raises a chalice and is like, "Come." My children of the night, uh, fuck. feast! It's only, it's only 60. And okay. you hear the fluttering and flapping of leathery wings is screeching as these horrible, monstrous bats fly down and descend upon you all around you. We're gonna die. Not with Anulin's sick volley maneuvers. Oh, I've got yeah. something else. Oh. I apologize for my shitty, uh... Talkins? My shitty uh, talkins. I can't believe Alphonse didn't get a mini, to be totally honest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care for minis, generally, uh, for when it comes to bad guys. Um, okay. Someday, maybe. We so, actually yeah. do have a vampire, a male vampire mini. Oh, shit, for really? Sure. Yeah, Strahd. it's in Richie's. Yeah, when we were originally going to run Curse of Strahd, like, four years ago. Okay, uh, one is going to attack Amiria, and that's going to miss horrifically. One is going to attack Vanders at disadvantage. And that is going to be an 18 to hit. Me? Yeah. Fuck, I'm going to uncanny dodge whatever you do, okay. whatever you... Okay, huge fangs of this giant vampire bat sink into you. Holy shit! As, uh, as, as it does this, and I'm just I'm just trying to get... A... I already blew a fucking lucky die, too. That was so bad. Seven points of piercing damage, down. and... So I'll take four? And three points of necrotic. And oh. you're... So I only take half of one of those, or half of, of the, the whole of the thing. Whole thing. So five. Five. So that means you, but your maximum HP then lowers by one. From the necrotic oh, damage that you take. Geez. As the vampires bite uh, it. The, the vampire. you override max HP? Is it yeah, okay? Just then, do I do 70? Uh, one on Annulin. Do, no, do uh, 16 to hit, misses. Oh, yeah. Uh, Rodek, that's gonna be 25 to hit. That's yeah, gonna that'll hit. do. Wow. So, one point of piercing damage and three points of necrotic as your maximum HP lowers by three. Uh, Sylvie's gonna by be. By three. By three. 15 to hit Sylvie, that's gonna miss. And I believe. Oh, and one on Annulin. That's gonna miss. Okay, so uh, the rest of you are just dodging these bats as they're flapping around. Sylvia, you're up. Um, um, everybody, I can't keep, I can't keep control of all of you. If you need my help, please let me know. Um, also, Alphonse, you probably have a tiny penis, and I'm gonna throw <laughs> all of my Eldritch Blasts at him. Fuck yeah! <laughs> I'm so mad. Um, natural twenty. Yes. <laughs> Um, and then oh. a 23, and then a 13. 23 and a 13. Um, okay, uh, 23, uh, 13 misses, 23 hits. And you're right, 100% tilt touch is an attack roll. I don't know why I've ever written down on my card. Uh, we'll just go with that going forward, thank you. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Nice, go on. Um, 
19 for one hit. That was my crit. Okay. And then Ooh. 10, so 29 total. 29 points of damage as your uh, one of your uh, gl- your arcs of Elder's Blast. Nope, I lied. Uh, 34. 34 total? Yeah. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, I forgot to add my charisma modifier to the second Elder's Blast I hit, and I have to do that. So uh, the both blasts of these green, arcing, swirling blasts of magic hit him. One flies off to the corner of the catacomb and hits the side, but he takes the full brunt of it. And... He uh he looks at you. And then I'm going to reach into my pack and I'm going to point the mirror directly at him. Okay. Ooh. So is that just, you're going to have it oh. at him basically the <laughs> yeah. whole time is your intention. Mm-hmm. So you pull out you the mirror as your free object interaction. <laughs> he was at the ready. The silver mirror gifted to you by Remy Guru. And you keep it on him. And as you look, look at down... I'm going to look at it like it's a magnifying glass. Nope, still can't see it. Very briefly, you look, you glance down, and although you know that vampires generally do not have reflections, you look down, and right there with these bats and Miriam and Vandris is Alphonse's reflection Fuck yeah. in the mirror. Get fucking rough. And so... God, I'm so out of cover right now. Fuck <laughs> I feel like I'm going to puke. I'm so he, excited. He got me so upset. I forgot I about the holy water. I forgot about the mirror. I forgot about everything. I literally rushed into battle, stab him. Just like fucking Mandris would. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> angry right now. It's not even funny. And so, uh, as that happens, he uh, is like, I see you back there, Sylvie. And he raises the chalice again, Uh and his gloved hand turns to flaming fire as as all four of you, fire bolts fly at you as he uses uh, Scorching Ray, a fourth level Scorching Ray. So everyone but Amiria? Everyone but Amiria. Okay. So uh, that is going to miss on Vandris. Uh, You are not disadvantaged on me currently. Oh, okay. Because cool. I got damage from the bat. Okay, cool. So, uh, let's see. I know, it's going really poorly for me right <laughs> off the 16 bat. on Vandra still, still is, is a miss. Uh, on uh, Rodak, that's going to hit. On Anne, that's going to hit. Damn it. On what? Sylvie, does a 15 hit? No! Oh my god. <laughs> uh, that, was, that was four, right? Yeah. Uh, so that's four. So just Anne and Rodak get hit. And then with that, the, the scorching ray blasts out four four beams, and then that is as I look at my spells. I apologize. I'm trying to make sure I have everything that I need. Take your time. Two d six. So, uh, Rudolph, you takes twelve points of fire damage. Fuck me. And uh, Anulin, you take uh, uh seven points of fire damage. As the other bull fire blast shoot off. <laughs> okay. Uh, with that, it is his turn. Oh no. <laughs> it wasn't oh, his no. turn. No, no. 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 no was, that was a legendary action. <laughs> I don't care. For it. Yeah. And he looks at you. He holds up his chalice. And it swirls and swirls and swirls. Bob. And his glove switches to a horrific bright green. And Rodak. He points it at you. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> a <vacadabra. laughs> More or less disintegrate. Oh. And he blasts a green beam at you. Make a dexterity saving throw. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. no. Dexterity oh, saving. Oh, no. <sighs> Where's my... Okay. <laughs> Rodak, I'm sorry for anything I ever said to you. We love you. It's so sorry. <laughs> Right. Um, I will use Indomitable, which lets me re-roll a saving throw once a day. Oh, no, it wasn't worth it. I will use a twist of fate. <laughs> <laughs> Do the thing! <laughs> Do the thing! Twist of fate, here we Do go. Uh, we have, we have five. Three. We oh, have five. shit, we have five, so yes. we'll get four left. Okay. Ha-ha! 21, or 22. <laughs> 22, you see Rodek as this horrific blast, almost like a bullet, a bullet, as if you even knew what a bullet was, fly at Rodek, and he just dodges. You see it singe your beard as the brown hairs are completely disintegrated. Not the as, maker. as he uses... He uses that uh, spell slot. So you have no beard now. No, he just has a, a, just a, a, a number of those. It's like, you know, when you're lighting candles for the bath and you accidentally As let your Rodak, head fall into it. You avoid no. 10d6 <laughs> 10, 10 plus 40. What? Plus 40 force damage. No, 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 no. Wait. Say that one more. He avoided that? He avoided. He dodged 10d6 
plus 40 force damage. Thank you! <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> viewers! <laughs> Thank you, everyone that's ever donated to our Twist of Fate. Is it too late you. for me to put on my brown pants? <laughs> <laughs> Can we run away? Like, serious question. Is running an option? No, because then he takes over the world. Yeah, and then, oh yeah, God. it's just... Rodek, right, you're up! Um, I will... Nicely done, Rodek. Uh, Hopefully he can't do that too many more times. He probably um, can. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna yell, Alphonse, you've run out of time! And I'm going to attack the bat in front of me. Okay. <laughs> And so has this guy. <laughs> and so has this bat. I fucking hate bats. Uh, I'm going to. I'll be up. No. <laughs> uh, does a 13 hit? <laughs> no. A 13 yeah. on the bat. Yeah. Oh, on the bat. <laughs> it actually does. Wow. wow. The, the African suggests we all use our free action. So right uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll just say for the sake of this, you don't know how minions yeah. work. You cleave the bat in half. And it it just falls to the ground in pieces. And please keep the tokens. Oh right. We'll just put uh, them to the side. Oh, oh so good. One, two, three, four, five, six, three. I will use my bonus action to click my heels together. Or right now, I guess it's how, how you're ta- it you, there's a there's a board medallion, and you tap, and you feel like you're as fast. There's no as place like board. home. Okay. There's will, no place like home. I will tap the boar on my belt, and all of a sudden start sprinting. Oh, uh, yeah, but it's disadvantage because I'm going fast. Oh fuck! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're, both, they're both still 19s. Oh Damn. shit! Uh, four points of piercing damage and four points of necrotic. Thank you. Oh, thank you for the resub. As uh, your max HP I'm... drops by four. Damn. Uh, Rodak. As the the necromantic force that's imbued in these bats channels through you. Uh, okay. Oh, hold on, I'm not done. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's 11 minus 4. Uh, 7. Dusty's a savage. The whole town is playing dead. It's not working for them, so maybe not. Oh, <laughs> shit! Dusty? Damn! Oh, Dusty. He, he too soon! Some, too soon! Both, both him and you have had some zingers tonight. Yeah, I missed well, it. Sorry, I've been too busy reading cuts. You bodies me weekly on my stream, <laughs> so, you know, I'm used to it. Um, I will then... Ow. Attack Alphonse twice. Yeah, get fucked. So it's gonna be twenty one. Oh holy water, you dumbass! Um, yeah, twenty one hits, right? Well, yes. Thinking back, did I get a sense that I needed to like wait for the right moment, and I would know the moment to use it, or just use? Are you referencing when we made the holy water? She she told you that you you needed to put the holy water on him so he couldn't regain health. That was like it. Yes, that was it. I don't think you got any specific instructions. But I mean, if you want to make an attack, it's fine. You've already begun. It's in tackle. Oh, it's a tackle to do the to to throw the holy water. Okay, good. Um, well, I will. I can't. Can it be one of my three attacks? I would say that it's just fine. Okay. If you have it at the ready at your head, yeah, yeah, yeah that would be just fine. Uh, so with I, an improvised weapon. What's that? Improvised weapon. That's fine. So I did one sword attack. Yep. On him. You cleaved that in half, and you ran, and still managed to bite you as you see Rose sprinting up with his huge sword. Then I attack Alphonse with my sword. You slice Alphonse. I got a 21. With the sword. 21. And as you saw before at the beginning of his turn, thank you for reminding me, forgot to do your sign your homework, you saw it see his wounds close up a little bit at the start of his turn. As he begins to regenerate the damage that he did on um, his turn. So I would like to make that a menacing attack. Okay. So he has to roll a wisdom saving throw. Got it. That is going to be a blah, 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 wisdom. Must be 20. That passes. Okay. Reroll this guy. So it's all five, so it's uh, 15, 21 damage. 21 damage as you slice into him, tearing through his uh, perfect suit as it slices through and in. Is he immune to, ne- to necrotic damage? He's resistant to a necrotic damage. Okay, so but would, uh, uh, would a stack of curse still apply? It would still apply. Okay. So as you slice in the horrible, uh, the horrible curse, the crocodilian curse of the crocodile cleaver, uh, seeps into Alphonse's flesh. It doesn't seem to do as much damage, you would guess, but it will it will do something. Um, and then for my third attack, I'm going to pull it out and just, like, Gross. smash it in his face. Okay. okay. He's going to whip out his hog. Go for it. Make it <laughs> exact roll. I hate it. <laughs> No, you don't. I hate the word hog. <laughs> for P9, of course. Not for the 
that you miss with this are they all instantly dead? That's why I, I, I'm gonna need to kind of use a twist of fate to do this. I think you're gonna have to do this. I haven't seen a crummy. No, I can't do that. I think you have to do the thing. I have to do the thing. Because it's new. African is a tier two sub. I got it. Is that not your second tier one emo? Do you guys, we haven't unlocked that yet? Um, we, we have three, I think, but we've submitted one, which Derek made a twist of fate emo. Oh, cool. Um, and it just hasn't been approved yet. What's your roll? I got a 16. I want to see them crummy, South African. Show me. Um, 16, yeah. I would like you to oh, cool. make a religion check and please give your yourself the twist of fate back, please. Yeah. Apologies, that was. Uh, I was paying 17. 17. Um, as Rodek, you are. You pull the. Uh, you slice him, and as he's stumbling back, you grab this flask yeah, charmed by a cleric of the trickster god mask as you slam it forward it looks like he's just about to dodge it and all of you see a flash of orange glow and you hear the clanging of Hell a hammer yes! on an anvil as it's you you feel your hand guided true and it smashes into Alphonse's face, dousing him. He lets out a ah! as his flesh is singed, and uh, that is an automatic critical. So roll uh, forty-six oh, radiant damage, please. Oh, holy water! That was something I had been planning on doing before he messed his thing. I was just kind of focusing on this side of the room. <laughs> Six, yeah, sorry. seven, so eight, nine, ten. I'm damage. easily distracted. Middle, middle, yeah, middle, 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 eleven damage. Eleven damage. Eleven damage. Okay, so as you, as the clang of of, of a hammer on an anvil smashes in, he's completely yeah, that's drenched that's right. in the the holy water. As his eye, as he's shielding his eyes, closing his face, and he eventually comes to his flesh is singeing away, which was once pristine and beautiful, even for an undead creature, is now starting to see the gaps and the the holes and the chars as he's looking at you, his blood red eyes staring at you angrily. And uh, as that happens, he is going to do something. Oh, you're right up to him. Yes, I ran right up to him. Uh, He is going to take his, his bare hand and he's going to like, I can do the same thing, Rhoda. And he's going to try to smack. You see that there is a horrific kind of greenish, bluish glow on his bare hand. And he's going to try to smash it against your face. Oh, God. You got to be kidding. 18? Not the money maker. Is 18 hit? No. Woo. As, as it, this horrible glow, you manage just barely dodge out of the way as he attempts to grip your face. And you dodge and he says... Moradin cannot help you here, and neither can Saluna! This is my world! And with that, it is Emiria's turn. Hot dog. Ooh. She is. <laughs> Slappy. <laughs> She's gonna look around at all of you. Her eyes are no longer the kind of dark amber, orangish, that they were before. And now radiating with silver light. Holy oh, shit. Oh, As she looks at all of you, and she remembers what Hissy says, and she grabs her amulet, and her hand starts glowing, and she walks around the bat creature, and she raises, she leans, de- she walks up to one, uh, to Hissy's body. As she glows, her hand is glowing after grabbing her amulet, she leans down and pulls both of her scimitars out and she clangs them together in the sky, and a beacon of moonlight shoots down on her. And all of a sudden, it lands on her, and she looks at all of you, and all four of you feel this nearly holy energy hit you, and she casts Beacon of Hope. And while she is concentrating, all five of you, uh, whenever you are healed, is max healing. Include like healing potions and shit? Uh, sure, why not? Oh, <laughs> yeah! Well, I can't heal until my next turn. I don't know if that makes me like happy or scared. How, do we know how long? This, so it's. We don't know how long this lasts, right? Is we it just... the actual Beacon of Hope spell? Because I'll look it up. Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. Okay, alright, so there's a time limit to it. It's one minute, 10 minutes. That is not a good sign, actually, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. 
It's not a good it's sign. It's ominous. And with that, she's going to turn and... So we have advantage on wisdom saving throws oh. and death saving throws. And we no regain way. the maximum number of hit points possible from any healing. So that would include potions. Wow. And she is going to use her bonus, her, her, this um... She's gonna fucking crank up to 11. <laughs> Holy shit. And she is going to use her bonus action to... I don't think she's going to do any healing bonus action. I'm nervous. Okay, no, she's not going to do any with a bonus action. And she's actually going to pivot around and uh, get in between the bat and uh, Vanders. And she's, she goes back to back with her swords drawn. Yes! And she says, like... This is way... These stakes are way higher than the old days, huh, Vandris? <laughs> no, no, this is just like the old days. Let's get them. I wish it was just like the old days. Let's go. And then with that, it is going to be... Is Alphonse going to do a... Yeah, I think, yeah. Is he? Is he just going to do is a he? He is. action? He is. is He's he still dripping with the holy water. And he looks at you, and he raises his hand. The, bold, the, the, the blade-like uh, blood claws are going to slash towards you, Rodak. Yeah. And that is going to be 20 to hit. Oh, That'll do. Maybe. As he slices at you. So that is 11 points of slashing damage. And... Would my feet reduce yes. that? It won't reduce this, though. Can you feel my heart right now? 17 points of necrotic damage. Oh As God. the blades... Kelsey's having a heart attack, guys. <laughs> slash <laughs> into you. And as soon as they rend your flesh... How much 17 you said? 17 points of necrotic Holy damage. Fuck. And it is not the initial slash of his claws that is horribly wounding. But it's the soul wine as it seeps into your oh, body. No. As you feel the horrific necrotic uh, force seep into you. Fucking you up. You don't have to deal on You don't have to roll anything. There's no additional effects, but it's a lot of necrotic damage. Holy shit. With that, he's used his legendary actions. It is Anion's turn. Oh, God. This is round one, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, we'll so I'm gonna look at Alphonse yeah. and, and say, do we expect you to feel remorse? Oh no, Mr. LeBlanc, we expect you to die. We <laughs> 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 what? What? Yeah. From my dice. Three dice. Oh! <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what do I have to roll? Um it's uh ooh, hold on. No <laughs> way. It is But you a miss an accidentally target Vandris, and that's why I'm laughing so <laughs> What's hard? the DC? 14 I got. Uh how do I know what the what DC is? It's so, your spell on. save DC. It'll be d- d- your dex or wisdom. I think okay, I allowed it. So we that. go to your spell save DC. Yeah, I think you uh, did give I, us a choice. I, I think I allowed it that it could be strength or dex if you're uh if a strength or dex class if you choose to. Fifteen. Okay. Fifteen. Fifteen. As as you you say that, you feel you see him. His eyes are on you as he feels this magic on him. And he his mouth, corner his mouth. <laughs> No! <laughs> he's gonna use a fucking legendary oh, action on round yeah. one. God no, damn it! That's great. That means we got one out of the way. That's awesome. Legendary resistance. Holy shit! God damn it, guys! Right. Uh, the casting of that spell rivaled something Derek would do. I just want to tell that's you that's, that's, that's a compliment. That was, yeah, that was really, really good. And with that, uh, you're going to see. He looks around. He sees all of the bats. Some one is dead. The others aren't quite hitting as much as he raises the chalice and his hand glows with this purple magic and it zaps out and he says Vladimir, come clean up the mess that's been dragged into my chamber and it blasts towards the slab that is on your far left and I wanted to say for my bonus action I'm casting Hunter's Mark onto Alphonse Hunter's Mark you channel the power of nature onto Alphonse and he is marked with the power of the wilds as it blasts onto that and you on the far left as you see the corpse round not particularly tall (sighs) as it raises up and then looks around. <laughs> and you see very much the horribly withered, rotting corpse of Vladimir Drago as he heaves himself off the corpse and shambles towards you, Anulin. Good God. Oh, great. Oh, uh, that? And then he's going to use his 
uh, action, he's going to use his, uh, what you call it, to dash at you. Let me see what his speed is, man. Let me make sure it's 30. His speed is 30, so he uses his, uh, bo- his, his, his action to dash at you. And I don't think he can use a bonus action. Nope. As he, and, and you see in front of you, the smell hits you. As this this rotting corpse of and his ruined butler clothes, covered in these horrible bandages, almost like this shambling mummy as he's walking towards you. And with that, it is Vanish's turn. Um, oh, apologies. This, That's the, not the just that. It's like falling a mess. off. It's like falling off. Here, can, can, and... I got it. We have hair ties. Apologies yeah. for the camera. Bear with our map camera. Yeah, no map camera. camera. I'm going to take my... Oh, sorry. So, you have no, turn. with that... We have a, I, I, we have a layer action. Thing. Not a layer action. Sorry. So, <laughs> as soon as he stops, well, you think, see the I full moon fix the motion, the button starts right. to darken a little bit as the... It seems to start waning towards okay. a new moon. Uh-oh. So can we please replace that? Yes. You want us to put it over We're top of it? We're not going to be able or... to get everything. Yep. Oh, shit. And then we use a black token there and replace it on the far right. I'll put it up to the camera. You want to give that to me? And replace... You can replace the... So the phase of the moon there. is now... Do you want me to just... Okay. To this. Yes. And none of you are in that phase. So... Yeah. Ooh! Okay, but we don't know that. But we don't know that. You don't know that. So you feel... Ooh. As you look all around... The yellow transmutation circle on the yellow floor is glowing beneath you. However, as soon as the moon above you begins to face and begins to oh my wane, God, this is you see the transmutation circle on your right and the floor beneath switch to black. And it starts to radiate up, but none of you are in it, so... Okay. Shit. You are now in a, a waning gibbous moon. With that advantage turn. I look over my shoulder and I say, For hissy. For hissy. And then I use my bonus action to disengage from this bat. Okay. That's Alphonse. Oh, no. No. Uh, Get behind Alphonse and attack him. Okay. 21. 21, that'll hit. Get fucked, nerd. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, It's going to be 9, 10, 16, uh, 22, 27, 30, 32, 38 points of damage. 38 points of damage. And he, Ooh, as uh, it, bl- it, you stab in with Edward's uh, rapier. Uh, once again, the wine slithers into the wound and shoots out and use a blade deck saving throw, please. Uh, 38. 19. 19, that passes as it, you manage to dodge it. 38 And then I'm going to use my uh, fancy footwork to back up to. Uh, 38. Which Dueling the shit out of him. As you do that, and then, I apologies, I forgot to do this. It's a complicated fight. As the smell hits you from Vladimir, the putrid filth, the d- decay, and the dust, it reminds you of the foyer, the state of disrepair. As it's so foul, nope. it seeps into your person. Everyone's maximum HP is reduced by 10. <gasps> As he is, oh as he stands, uh, all of us, everyone. I'm good. I'm back to the healing, though, right? I'm good to he- now. I'm, it's my You're turn again. Healing, I'm good to heal. Correct, correct. All right, I've got all of my abilities. I'm ready to rock and roll. Okay. So then I'm good to back up too, right? Yep. Okay. So that was like, all right. Hooray, everybody! I've already lost eleven maximum hit points. <laughs> oh. And with that, it is that. the layer actions turn. And. With D and D Beyond, you guys can watch live as our maximum health drops. Yay. Did you write down what spell I got for my guys? Yes. So as as he stands around you, he pull he holds up his wine, and he begins to sw- he holds up the chalice of agony, and he swirls it and swirls it and swirls it. Tortured spirits rise. And it swirls and swirls, and you hear a groaning and a moaning as the wine turns to the spectral energy as spirits rise up out of the chalice. Their faces are wrenched in agony, the very few bits that you can... In a massive area, spirits swarm all around you in a 20-foot radius. Oh, fantastic. Um, And everyone in this radius is... Vulnerable to necrotic damage. Nothing. It's nothing. What? As you feel 
They're horrible or <laughs> Yeah, I know. Okay. okay. I'm not sure this is good, Everyone though. around you is vulnerable to the product. I have to reboot it does again. Okay. I'm sorry, we're, we, what happens to us? Vulnerable to You're the vulnerable to the product. What does that mean? You take double the product. Double damage from the product. Oh, boy. Woo! Run away! <laughs> uh, with that, it is Sylvie's turn. Um, okay, um, <laughs> I'm gonna turn, um, and look towards that shambling Crenshaw, um, and then I'm gonna look at the guy that's attacking Anulin. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, whatever his name, Vlad, Vladimir, Vladimir, and I'm going to hurl all of my glitter lances at him. <laughs> what is that one? one? Oh. Natural one. Well, let's well, oh. put that into our list. Add it to the dice. We should play the balls. Um, and then <laughs> 26, and the other one was uh, 28. Both hit. Of course. Uh, I could literally listen to this song on repeat for like 10 hours. I, 19. You have no idea how long I've listened to this while preparing for all of this business. So I really love the hissy goodbye music. That was... Stop. I Stop. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not prepared and to so talk about it. 19. Yeah, one manages to blast uh, into one of the corpse slabs. However, two manage to hit the form, and he seems to be slowed down a little bit. It blasts into his flesh. Uh, he seems to be pretty heavily wounded, but he's still going. Okay, and with that, uh, he's out of... Oh, and it's Alphonse's turn. Bring it, bitch. Uh-oh. Okay, now what will I do in this situation? What will I do? I do declare... He is going to. He's going to look at you, Rodak. Because you're directly in front of him. And he is going to. Extend his claw. And. Actually, no, he's not going to do that. He's going to extend his hand. And. The claw shrinks, and it turns that same bluish, greenish, horrible effect, and he s- s- places it, tries to smash it once again on your face. 23 to hit. That'll do it. Wow. Oh, yeah. You're going to take, oh my god, eight points of cold damage, <laughs> and I'm going to need you to make a con saving throw. Con, you say? Con. There you go. I'm proficient in that. It's not against poison. Come on. Dice roll so terribly. The then Maddie stop one. rolling yeah. them. Do you want? Do you want my good um, one? Don't you dare no, take any more. No, of I'm gonna replace that. I'm just using this. Uh, okay. <laughs> I get a uh, a thirteen. As soon as you smash, is, he's yeah. dripping with the holy water. He smashes his disgusting hand as it hits you. It's directly on your face, and you feel the cr- horrible, cold chill of death wash over you. And you are paralyzed. You are unable to move until the end of your next turn. Oh shit! And it's my turn. It is your turn. Yeah. Uh, can I resist it at all? That's what nope. It's at the end of your next turn. Okay. Past turn. You're paralyzed. So you are unable, completely paralyzed. And <clears throat> as you're paralyzed, it then comes around to Alphonse, and whoosh, you're mine. And he's going to try to claw attack you. And how does paralyze work? Wait, he's not paralyzed. He's not paralyzed anymore. Oh, he's not paralyzed. No, because at the end of his last turn. Correct. So. He's still going to claw you because I said it. That's why it's actually lucky that I am right after him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that is going to be a fourteen. No. And you manage to dodge out of the way as the claw just barely misses you again. It seemed to be very. It would have been an auto crit. Rodak, you're up. No way. Oh no, you're already up. And then so then it is Amiria's turn. And she's going to look around as she is going to uh, look towards the bat and make an attack on it. And she's going to attack it. She slices the wing off the bat and falls to the ground dead. Can you please uh, remove the bat next to her? And she's going to walk up to the one next to Rodak. And she's going to hit it. And she slices that one uh, across the back and it lets out a screech and falls to the ground dead. And uh, yes. she's, she's going to use the rest of her movement to get out of the uh, the Tortured Spirit's Rise. Just out like of the, back? Yeah, yeah, I would say back there. Okay. And she's going to use her bonus action. <sighs> How's everybody looking? 
I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm all right, I suppose. I just hold up the thumbs up. You look rough, Rodak. <laughs> Saluna! Don't worry about this shit, you dumbass! I could use help! Saluna! There you go. Uh, bless you. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm learning! <laughs> and uh, you feel a, a, a healing word on you as she uses one spell slot here. Bless you! Because it did. This is going to be a first level healing word, so it's not going to be a lot. Well, it's max. You don't know. Oh, you're right! Uh, that's going to be nine points of healing. Sweet. Okay. Uh, remember, everyone's max HP is lower because of Vladimir. With that, it's Amira's turn. Uh... And Think, thinking man JPEG, you can't heal to max when your max HP is two. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he is going to look at you, Vandress. Ah, damn it! And he is going to say, "You'll have to tr come try and catch me." And yeah, yeah bring it, bitch. And he blinks out of existence and pops up closer to Sylvian Annulet. Oh, so could you fuck. move him forty spaces? Forty. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Yep. Damn it. Okay. That's his bonus. A that's his layer action there. Or legendary action. Uh, Anyone, you're up. Cool. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to volley from this spot. Cut it. So that will hit both oh, and... Oh, yikes. <laughs> I'm very good at this game. <laughs> Okay, um, so I'm gonna roll for number two. Okay. That's not very good. It'll hit. Yeah, I don't oh, think well. they have, yeah. I think 13 hits on them, and you have plus 12. Plus 12! 15! <laughs> yeah. On, uh, on whom? On, on number the bat? two. Yeah. On number two. Uh, bat is 13, yep. He's number dead. Number six or nine. Nine. Six. Oh, six, yeah, I guess. So uh, 20 yeah, to hit. Yes. Yeah. And then on alpha. You see the and just two arrows come down and hit their skulls and collapse 15, to the ground. Fifteen to hit. Fifteen misses. He means to dodge Dang, out of the way. It's gonna be as low as you can roll, right? Close. It's close. close. Yeah, it's yeah. close. Okay. Uh. Ooh. You have another attack, right? Not with a volley. The volley yeah. uses all of them. Uh, I'm just deciding if I should like run away. Eh, that's okay. I'll stay where I am. Okay. With that, it is... Uh, is he going to do anything else? He is going to, after he dodges, he's going to look at you, Angulin. And he says, I dodged that. Let's see if you can dodge this. And his hand glows uh, uh, blue and shoots out this horrible spectral hand that shoots out towards you. And it's an attack roll. It's not a con. Wow, that is awful. Fucking awful. That is a 13 to hit. And you're easily able to dodge it as this 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 undead hand shoots out of him. And you dodge it. And those are all his le uh, legendary actions. Uh, and then, now it is... It is uh, his turn. As he... Or it is the monster's turn. As, I poop my pants. As... As the... Uh, As he looks over oh, at, oh, at Vladimir, <laughs> and you see Alphonse <laughs> say, like, you're not doing enough for me, Vladimir. And he raises his chalice, purple energy, zaps out <laughs> to the slab next to Vladimir's. Oh, God. And you hear a high-pitched groan as the smallest figure of all, little Flora, no! rises. Oh, no. And... You then hear a familiar crying, screeching, wailing, as she this zombie is letting out a wailing, and while she is alive, uh, everyone at disadvantage on concentration checks. Is holy shit. Do we have um Yeah. So that's Vladimir. That's Vladimir and this is Flora. That's Flora. Oh, this is awful. Just while she's Sorry, like awful. functional? Yes. It seems that seems to be that way. On you said concentration? Concentration. And uh, so they're all going to go. Uh, Vladimir is going to do uh, his attacks on Anulin. So we have, uh, he is going to bite at you with his zombie attacks. That's gonna horribly miss. Then he's gonna try to claw you and that's gonna horribly miss. Uh, and then Flora, these, just, these groaning zombies. One smells horrible, one is screeching. 17, is that hit? Uh, yeah. 17, Matthews. the bite hits you as Flora sinks her, her tiny teeth into you as that deals nine points of piercing damage. And then she's gonna swing in with her zombie claws. 
and that is gonna fucking miss. And we have disadvantage on con saving Con- throws. Constitution. Con- uh, concentration. I concentration. Concentration. So, Got like, saving a myriad throw. trying yep. to it is, keep yes. her yep. healing thing. Exactly yep. right. Exactly right. Uh, and then, as this happens, you feel the moon start to phase. Fuck. As All on your bubble, <laughs> it phases over you. What? Can we move? Can we add? Can we switch that out? As uh, Mr. Stonehearth, I don't feel so I mean, I don't good. Think we need to be showing it. Yeah, it's, it's, fun. it's, it's fun. That's awesome. <laughs> as it slides over, and half of the room is shrouded in darkness. Vandris, Rodak, Sylvie. Oh shit! As the darkness. Oh, uh, there should gotcha. be a, yeah a black token. As the moon slides over you, the you feel a horrible sense of dread wash over you. You are now frightened while you're beneath this shadow. So this is all shadow. This is all shadow. You're frightened of the moon. Okay, got it. So you, anyway, with that, I have hidden passive. This is I can never be frightened. <laughs> Actually, no. oh, <laughs> Vanders, you're up. <laughs> um, what is frightened to do? Disadvantage on attack rolls or in diligence. When you can't willingly move closer to the source of your which fear, is which is the moon, moon, so you can run anywhere. Yeah, but if I have disadvantage on the attack roll, I lose my fucking sneak attack. Well, you're in sight of what you fear, yeah. Do I, when I know that, like if I'm fearing the moon, it would make sense for me to get out of the darkness. I would say that that makes sense. You, you feel a horrible man. dark magic aura come over you. If you were to get advantage and then attack, you would be just be a normal hit, so you could then get sneak attack. So theoretically, you could like hide behind this and then come over. Yeah, that's that's a lot. Um, it's dark though, it's dark. and I can. F- you know what? So if I have if I have disadvantage on the attack roll, I lose. All right, sorry, sorry. Yeah, this is bad. You have you have a disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of your fear is within in line of sight. So if it's behind you, that wouldn't affect you because it's not within your line of sight. I would Up say you. that you're, that you're, you're that cold. the moon is. So I would say while I'm in here, yeah. while you're in there, you okay. feel very afraid. All right, it's the magic of the transmutation circle. Uh, I'm gonna use my bonus action to dash. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And I'm gonna use my action to cast Confusion on Alphonse LeBlanc. Yes. Wow, okay. What's the, the con? It is. Uh, Wisdom? Each creature with a. Uh, uh, what does it say? Confusion. Wisdom saving throw. Uh, you must succeed on a wisdom saving throw when you ca- uh, 21. That's probably good enough, <laughs> I would imagine, unless it would be you're allowed to use your dex as your spell save. So what would that what would that make it? I, 8 plus 5 plus 4. Right? You guys are plus 4 not enough. Yes, I'm in plus four proficiency. Yeah. That's not enough. So eight plus five plus four, yeah. So he just succeeds. Yeah. So you run out, you channel the power of the magic dice, and he seems to resist it as uh, he shrugs off the confusion. I'm gonna fuck you too, Rugerul. <laughs> uh, with that, it is the layer action's turn. And how many bats are alive? Two. No, one. Oh, only one. Only oh, because that's the other. Not many. Combo. So he's going to uh, raise his chalice up again and says, like, Come, my children of darkness, feed! And uh, five more are going to fly down. And we, are, and we are going to then get a... Where? Just one on each person? Or... Yeah. On Amiria. Yep. Okay. And the one on Anion? Yeah, one on Anion. <laughs> I can call me myself! <laughs> Woo-hoo. One on Anulin that's going to miss, one on Sylvie that is going to hit. Okay, I'm going to use shield, so that's going to be a plus oh. five to my AC. Uh, yeah. So that's a 19 to hit then total. 
So it misses. Yeah. So as the bat flies in, you grab the uh, doll at your hip, and a, a shimmering uh, spectral nice. shield appears, and the bat smashes against it, and is unable Damn. to pierce through. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So Sylvie, uh, Angelin, uh, we're going to do vanity at disadvantage. Well, it's natural one, so horribly fails. One on Amiria, and that is going to hit. And she is going to take... She can take some damage. As it sinks in and her max HP lowers even more. So, ooh, yikes. This is really bad. Yep. It ain't good. <laughs> this fight's only gonna get harder as the fucking thing goes on, too. Mm -hmm. Seven. Okay, cool. Uh, with that, we need is, to like hold it is. Uh, thank you, Cam. Oh, thank you for the, the host! Yay. 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 Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Boss fight. Thank you. Sylvie, thank you're up. You. Um. I don't know why mine it said chaos connectors, <laughs> um, but it actually did. Uh, I am going to uh, once again shoot. Oh, there they um, are. It was like, oh, hey, oh, chaos! Oh, it's a raid and, and, and a host. Um, I'm going to do hey, one guys. of my Eldritch Blasts at Vladimir, um, and that is a uh, 20 or 30. They have 14 aces. They have 14 aces. Okay, yeah. perfect. So. Um, and that is eight points of damage to Vladimir. Eight. eight it blasts, and he's still going. I'm going to do another one at him, okay. um, and that is 27. Hits. Why do we keep losing this? Um, it's another 8. Okay. Uh, he is barely hanging on as you blast him. Um, and then uh, 19, and that is uh, 14. 14 points of damage? Yeah. As you fire your last arc, it doo -doo -doo, as it blasts and blasts and blasts, and you finally see he kind of lurches at you, and you see kind of the wrappings are falling off. You see those same sad eyes, but vacant, as he looks at you, and your elder's blast just completely takes it off as the corpse crumbles yes. to the ground, as it falls, and it begins to disintegrate. All of a sudden, you kind of see the corner of your eye, a flash of blue light and movement, and you look up and you see the spectral form of Vladimir Drago and he looks down at you and he says You have finally freed me Please, allow me to clean you all up and you feel a radiating glow over you your HP goes up to normal and it goes up by 10 by that much Wait, what? Yes. So we heal by the amount? So you heal by 20. Your, your HP maximum is, is is set back up to 10. That well, he lost I had from one extra point. Yes. I, I was minus so, 11. So you lose all of the... You, anything from the bat and from Alphons, you still lose. Okay, so... But, but everything from him, you just want to regain. So, so you regain... 10. So make your max HP... Plus 20. Plus... Plus 20. Because, because it's, it's, down by, yes. it's normal, and then so it's... So it should be 10 more than what it normally is. And oh. then heal yourself... 10 points, or so, 20 points. So, yes. Heal to your max, right? No. Well, so, it depends. We, if you lost more than the 10 that was initially have, taken off, so have I, yes. right? You're gonna, you're gonna heal 10 of those points back, and then you're gonna gain 10. To max, or to, am I gonna heal that second 10, or gain 10 to my max HP? You gain 10 to my max HP, and then you heal 20 to it. Okay, got it. Got so it. your max HP now is plus 10. I see. From, uh, from the what, beginning of the what fight. Is. That makes sense. From the beginning of the so fight. So mine should be plus 9. But so the, is the healing to max thing still in play? It's not healing to max, it's healing 20 total. So if, you took, if you've taken more, you're not max. So you just heal 20 so you're total. you're healing 20 points, and then because your max HP was lowered, you see how your max HP is at 114 instead of 124? Mm -hmm. your, ax, your max HP, so you come down here to max yeah. HP. So it's two you're separate overriding things. overriding your max yeah. HP to 10 more than your max. Which Increase your max HP by 10 and heal by 20. My normal HP is 114, so I'm at 124 now. if you now, guys just weren't right, so do max I HP increased increase by 10 HP. on the max here, that would be just yes, fine. Yes, you heal at yeah. 20 points. Like 20, so, so up to do you want me to like? Does yeah, anything else you want me to do? Because like keep track of just max HP plus just max 10? HP plus that. This is yeah. expo. Yeah. Okay. As you feel that radiating boon come upon you from Vladimir, as his spirit rises up. Woo! That's okay. Awesome. Uh, Sylvie. So that's that's your turn. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, no. Okay. So. Uh, with that, it's Alphonse's turn. As he looks all around, 
What is he going to do? He's going to use a spell, probably. I have to save Edward. Uh, he is going to... He is going to look at, um, at Sylvie. As he sees, he looks up and he sees the spirit of Vladimir. And he sees what he's done for you. And he saw, sees that you're the one that freed him. And he looks at you and says, like, Sylvie, you had your one chance. And he's going to class Blight at you. As a sickly, kind of brownish, greenish uh, uh, magic comes over his hand. And with that... Blight is... How does that work? Blight, 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 blight. I have this. Uh, con saving throw. Seventeen. Seventeen. You barely pass. You're going to take half of this. And uh, I'm going to use my uh, fate ability, Misty Escape, and I'm going to move over. Okay. Here somewhere. Or it's got to be like, I think within 60. Oh! You were what? I'm sorry. Right there, yeah. So, three, uh, six. You can go there. Okay, perfect. So, as he looks at you, it blasts. You manage to dodge out of the way. And as it hits you, you're going to take uh, 23 points of damage. Uh, so, that's halved already. Um, so, 23 points of necrotic damage. As it blasts you, but you're, it would have been way worse had uh, it, it fully hit you. And you use the channel, the power of the face as soon as it hits you, and immediately you puff into a cloud of green uh, mist and you uh, teleport far out, uh, away from the darkness. And with that, uh, it is, I need to make sure he uses that spell slot. Okay. With that, that is, um, und, und, uh, with, uh, that's all he can do. Rhoda, you're up. Um, do I see which one might be Philip? Uh, make a perception check. As your free object interaction. Mm. Mm. Ten? Ten. It's it's very hard to tell. They're different bodies. Like, it's... It's a lot of kind of wrapped, uh, decaying flesh and the like. Um, I am going to... Uh being scared, I'm going to just immediately swing my sword to the bat. I'm disadvantaged, right? Yep. So it's going to miss. I'll attack again. Uh, 17. Yeah, you cleave, so him, in cleave him in half. And then I'm going to, seeing the glowing light, I'm going to be one, two, dun, dun. I will use my third attack, and I'm not feared anymore, right? Correct. Bravery returns. <laughs> Same. So, cleave him. So that's my three attacks. Okay. Um, and then, my bonus action... I Actually, how much health? I'm only missing... Never mind. I'm missing only seven. Never mind. I'm good. Okay. So, uh, it is Emiria's. Uh, and with that, he is going to... He is going to once again raise up his chalice and his, his hand glows. And scorching ray at the four of you. We're going to get one on Rodak. That's going to be uh, 20 to hit. Yep. Vandris is disadvantaged. Yep. Uh, that's going to be 15 to hit. Sylvie, that's going to be 22 to hit. Anulin, that's going to be a 20 to hit. Oh. So, fire damage to Sylvie is... Your, your AC is still increased. Oh. It is not, because what? I did it before my turn. Correct. And it's uh, only until the end five of points turn. of fire damage to you, Sylvie, to Rodak. You take six points of fire damage, Anulin. You take four points of fire damage. Okay. Um, pretty I'm pretty sure that's how it works, right? I rolled really shit. <laughs> God, that's embarrassing. Hold on. Let me just make sure. Okay, uh, that's fine. So with that, it is... Uh, da -da -da -da. Amiria. Amiria. Uh, sh yes. Did anything explode? This is totally, like, late, but did anything explode from Lama's head besides her just dying? Did something come out of it? It was just brain and blood and viscera and gore. 
That's disgusting. Oh, okay. She seemed to have a very engorged and large brain, it seemed. Mm. Uh, so with that, um, she is going to look around and she has not lost her concentration. And so she is going to raise up her hand and she's going to call down moonlight on everyone. And he's like, I, I hope this works. Ah! And she's going to use her magical secrets to cast a cleric spell. Or no, actually, no, bards get this. Uh, mass cure wounds. Fuck yeah. And so that is going to be 29 points of healing to everyone. Damn. 29? Wow. With her oh, beacon of hope. Boy. Incredible. I can only heal four, but I feel really good. 3d8 <laughs> plus five, right? Pretty like Yeah. That. Yeah, that's 29. Damn. That's such a good spell. Is it like a light cleric thing? It's a bard's get it. Wow. It's absurd. My magic secrets are something else. Okay, uh, and she's going to use that, and for her bonus action, she's not going to do anything, and she is going to uh, whip around on the other side of the bat. Right here? Like she's going to back up. Yep. Okay, Annalyn, you're up. Okay, I am going to volley from the point of bat number four. Mm-hmm. Oh, you get all of them, baby. Oh, baby. All right, number six. Uh, that's going to definitely hit. That's like 20, 30. Yep. Hit. Uh, so six blows Done. up. Done. Number four. That's 15 to hit. Yep. Yes. Number three. Uh, that is 20 to hit. Oh, hell yeah. And uh, Flora. Oh, shit. I should have been disadvantaging on the last two. What's that? Because they were. So they just rolled right two more times. Two more times, yeah. Well, hi. You it's have fine. to roll like a, one okay, or two. They would have hit it. Yeah, they, yeah, they would have. I didn't. She didn't get a natural one, so she didn't get it. it. Um, and then Flora also just. No, you have to roll a one to miss. Yes. Okay. But not necessarily on Flora. Okay. So, um, eighteen. Yeah, oh. eighteen to hit Flora. Eighteen to hit Flora. Oh, that hits. Yeah. Her okay. AC fourteen. Uh, she's not damaged, is she? No. no. Uh, that is dark. six plus eight, so fourteen damage. You falling down, it hits her. Sixteen damage. Fourteen and, damage. Fourteen damage. Fourteen damage. As uh, they are just flying down, flying down at you, you over and over and over again, and uh, the arrows smash in. They're killing. They kill the two bats. One flies in the magical arrow from your strongbow. It sinks into Flora's flesh. She lets out a scream, and she's still wailing. Okay, with that, it is. Uh, can he, oh, he can do a, a legendary action, and with that he. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And with that, he is going to. Damn. He is going to once again look at uh, at you, Vandras, and right. he's going to cast Chill Touch. This is an edge. Yep. Uh, this is gonna be a nineteen to hit. Fucking hell! That's it. As it bull, it hits you. And you are going to be taking. How does chill touch? Uh, sorry. 3d8. You take 12. Oh, so I was I was up to max. Let me make sure I was good there first. 16 points of necrotic damage, and you cannot heal until the end of your next turn. So 16 points of necrotic. Of necrotic, correct. Does that change my max HP? No. no. Okay. It does not. All right. Okay. That is loser legendary actions for the turn. Uh, with that, it is that, and uh, and he raises his uh, chalice once again, and glows purple, and it blasts at the next slab. And he uh, sh- he shouts out, like, I always did like you the best, but it was never enough, Ingrid. And you see the kind of, the plump, and you see the, the long, decaying white hair, her eyes glowing as Ingrid rises and is going to just take a step forward right here. Oh boy. On top of you. No. Yeah. And is going to Oh look at that face. And that's, is going to terrifying. uh is going to bite at you, Vandras. Uh no longer disadvantage. Correct. Eleven, that's gonna miss. Yep. It's gonna slash at you, Rodak. Natural one, you gotta be kidding me. Uh and then Flora is going to bite at you, Annulin. That's a 10. And this claw attack is going to hit as she rends you with her zombie claws. 
And with that, she hates zombie claws. She hates zombie claws. <laughs> and with that, it zombie is claws. zombie claws. Zombie claws. I'm gonna so keep track of some things over here. Yeah. Do you want paper? Uh, no, I like 14 that. 14 points okay. of slashing yeah, damage. That's a good spot. 14? And it slashes across you, and then make a yeah. constitution saving throw. Okay. At a, a disadvantage. So I right. have, because of my... Pearl constitution. Uh, uh, I have concentration on saving throws, so I'll just be regular. Is that cool? Was that? Yeah. You said con, right? Yep. Most terrible. It's an eight. An eight. So <laughs> as uh, the... It slashes into you. Feel the rot and decay of the claw sink in. You're poisoned for one minute. You can make. Um, you can make. You can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of your turns. Poison? Okay. Is that what you're poisoned. Yep. And uh, that is their turn. Moon phase. And the moon phase. It slides over, and now it's a crescent moon. As the fear once again sl- fills all of your hearts. Okay. With that... Um, I forgot to do the curse. So yes, go ahead. So fine. he needs to roll a, um, a saving throw. Constitution saving throw. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Woo! I almost got in the way of that. So add one damage to him. Five, so one damage? Yep. What did you get? Uh, I got a, a 14. That fails. So okay. he still has the thing on him. Okay, he, so he still has the curse on him. Got it. Uh, with that... It, oh, it, but he takes zero damage with his resistance. You're right. <laughs> okay, with that, it is a vanish turn. Okay, uh, before I take my turn, uh, for Dusty, I say, Terrors may indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder, a glint of gold. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> uh, and I'm going to use my bonus action. No, uh, actually, I'm just gonna... Oh, fuck, we're in darkness. Oh, is this by the way, Why did you say pa- that? pardon me. So as oh, I need to, I need to, do, to reiterate, as you, f- as uh, Ingrid rises from her, from her slab, you feel this nagging at the back of your mind, like you're being put, like, and you, like you feel like a child, like being put into time out. Your speed is halved. Okay, well I have to pick a different quote now. <laughs> so for Dusty, I say, "Darkness closes in, haunting the hearts of men," and then. Uh, I am going to. (laughs) (laughs) Um, This is awful. This is really awful. So, if I normally would get, you have sneak attack. No, because I'm I'm disadvantaged. Because we're in darkness. So so, I have to generate advantage. So, mm. I was thinking you'd attempt to hide behind this lab. Yeah, that so was very you, large. You could slip around here, hide, and then come around. And just, you might get an opportunity. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do I that. Do I'm that. going to opportunity uh, attack. I'm gonna take an opportunity attack, but try to like I'm just, this thing's raised, right? Oh uh, yes. So yes. I'm gonna attempt to hide behind it. Uh, she misses you. Uh, one, two. Three. It's halved. Right. So hold on. So you literally just go here. That's probably line of sight. I would say that's line of sight. So that's one, two, three, four. Get a oh, you only have three. I'm going for, I'm going for him. Oh. I'm, I'm, let me let me just map this out. Okay. Uh, um, forty. I can I can grip the sides of my cloak and fly, but that's like a height. Um, I'm gonna just move. So I have one, two, three. I'm going to attempt to hide behind here. Okay. So I'm just gonna. I'm gonna make a. Yes, from Alphonse. Okay, yes. I'm gonna make a <laughs> stealth check yep. as a bonus action. Okay. Go for it. Sweaty, man. Uh, eighteen plus uh, thirteen <laughs> is uh, thirty-one. Thirty-one. Yeah, you meld into the darkness. He does not see you. And then I have an action, but like I just don't even know what it would be. Like I don't think I can do anything. Um. Mm-hmm. You that's a good. Yeah. No, that's gonna be my turn, I think. Oh well, did she make the attack? She oh, missed. She, she missed. missed. Oh, okay. She missed. No, could have it. It's fine. That's gonna be my turn. Okay. Cool. So with that, uh, he is still out of legendary actions, uh, and he's going to layer action, and with that, he is going to. Uh, raise up his chalice and they swirl around the torture spirits and then he's going to call them and they all swirl around and they will move over to yeah do... 
both of you? No. This oh, is you so yeah. fucking bad. I think it's right, like... Okay. With that, uh, it is Sylvie's turn. Yes, it is. It's just her base. Um, okay. yeah. Yeah, I am going to cast uh, my Glitter Lance at uh, Flora. Got it. Um, 14 is well, thank God, 14. Wait, what's the area of effect? Um, 20, 20. That is 20. 24 Sorry. radius. Why, why what is it? What's the area of effect that just moved on us? Oh, it, uh, oh you're yeah. vulnerable to necrotic damage. Uh, nine damage. Nine damage to her. <laughs> she is still alive. Oh, as, uh... Yeah, that's okay. Um, okay, the next one hits. Another nine damage. Okay, uh, she was looking very rough as you blast her again. Next one misses. Okay, and she's looking very weak as it flies over her tiny oh, her tiny head. Yeah, and uh, and she's she still 13, she's 15. still looking at you. Uh, and with that, it is Alphonse's turn, as he is going to move his movement. I might One, be, guys. I might be the two, dumbest human on the planet. Three, four, five. He's gonna walk around here. Fuck. And nope. He is going to. So me. Oh, he can't do that. Fuck. Oh. Uh-huh. He's going to walk around, and he sees all of you, and he says, "Like, well, I don't think this is a very fair fight." And he turns, like, "Will you?" You spurned me three times, Sylvie. How about I persuade you again? His eyes are going to glow with the hue of pink, and he's going to stare directly into your eyes. Is he going to attempt to charm you? Okay. Make a DC 17 wisdom saving throw. I am immune to charm, and because I'm a Pact of the Fae, I'm going to turn that charm back on him. He has to make the same DC versus a knight. <laughs> Damn! Titanium just says, sit out, bitch! Yeah. <laughs> yep, um, it is, um, Beguiling Defenses. I'm immune to charm, Holy and when he attempts shit. to charm me, That's I can use my reaction to turn the charm back on him. What a sneaky piece! What's the saving throw? 19. Uh, 19. 19, so I need to make the same saving throw. That Wisdom, which is not... Where he's not a Viking. As, <laughs> as he looks at you, and your eyes go wide with this this horrible green look, and it stares back at him. And there's this horrible beguiling nature, and you kind of hear just this faint snickering and cackling that echoes off as his eyes drop their pink glow. His red irises are then wide with fear as he seems to. Uh, I hear her call. I know who that is. No! And he uses a legendary fucking resistance (laughs) in order to not get fucking charmed by that bullshit that I didn't know was a thing. That's so good. Isn't that amazing? And with that, uh, yeah, so Alphonse just, he just gets, yeah, he just gets fucked. That's all. Uh, and with that, it is, uh, apologies, uh, it's, (laughs) it's his turn. Rodak. Um, I will... So I'm disadvantaged, right? Because I'm in the the field. Correct. But I can't do much more, so I will. Um... Rex DM for a time. Most immunity. I'll say. My other mod is gonna smite you with radiant Wait, what? Sorry, I was at a high of spam and I was muted. <laughs> I mean, it is spam. Uh, I deserve to be. I deserve to be timed out. Uh, barely hits. That's a one. So here, let me let me deal the, the, the damage of the first one. It's fucking funny. Roll that. She's not been damaged. Oh, she hasn't. No. Okay, so that's uh six. It's 12 damage. 12 damage. You slice in and it tears <laughs> through her undead flesh. You hear her bone crack as she just looks at you with this groan. Um, so I will gross. attack again. Okay. My third attack. Fuck. At disadvantage, remember? Yeah. No, I, I, a two and a one. So my last four rolls were two, one, two, one. And you are managing to miss. 
this creature as she's just radiating this horrible aura And I'll say, uh, forgive me, Moradin. And then I'll look at her and I'll say, I'll free you soon. And you'll interrupt. Can you pass me a, okay. uh, one of the pens there? Yes. Oh, no, no, it's Miria's turn. Apologies. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, she is going to make... And that's a bad honor, right? Yeah. She's going to uh, swing... Oh, actually, hold on. Let me see where her... Uh, Rodek is off balance. He lost too much beard. I did. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mew. Looking out for my beard. <laughs> she is going to just slice at the bat because she because this movement thing is really fucking her, and she's going to slice. She she stabs it in the face with her scimitar, and it, it the bat dies. The Myrtle for the win, collecting ones for the dice. Oh, oh that's cool. Yeah. Thank you, thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you, thank you, for Myrtle. thank you, Myrtle. That's huge. Myrtle. And then uh, she is going to move three spaces outside do, of the darkness. I was going to say we don't. Do we know? So you move them here outside of the darkness and the bad stuff. Like, gather points and then make a massive attack with them. Yeah. Okay. And she is going to say, Who? Who's looking rough? And she's going to try to look around at everybody. I, 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 I'm good. I give her a thumbs up saying I'm good to go. Uh, I'm, I'm great. Because I'm hiding. I'm hiding. I don't want anybody to see okay. me. I'm in the I'm, darkness. I'm okay. Doing all right. <sighs> Okay, she is going to uh, just hold her heels. And with that, it is... Uh, da -da -da -da. It is Anulin's turn. Ha! I'm going to fire two arrows at Mr. LeBlanc. Oh, hold on. Before you do that, <laughs> Alphonse is going to hold up his chalice. And there is going... There is a swirling of this ghastly green that spins around and around and around. And until... The all of you around Alphonse, Rodek, Anulin, and Vandris, you feel this horrible necromantic mm. uh, That's not good. pull on you. Make a con saving throw, please. What else is new? Con, you say? At disadvantage. No, given that's constitution, right? That's just the holder's spell. Concentration. 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 You got Fuck a me sideways. Uh, what? Four. I got a four. Is this dice he's rolling? Four. 14. He got a 4. I want to use 14, 4, a lucky die. 25. I'm going to use I'm gonna use a lucky die. Okay. So, Let me uh, roll. 14 fails. Damn it. Bam, baby, Ooh, natty, nice. 20, natty, natty 20, 20. So, Rhoda can vanish. You manage to resist a lot of this damage, but it still seeps into you as he disrupts your very life force. Oh shit. Uh, this feels so awful bad. as 14. You're fucked. 15, <laughs> 18 is actually could be worse. 20, uh, 24 points of necrotic damage full, and, remember, and then 12 it's, points. It's, okay. it's double because we're in oh, it's, ghost, yeah. right? Yeah. Holy. So you take 48. Yeah. And we take 24, right? Hey, yeah. Miriam? <laughs> Come on. 48. Yeah, you're all inside. God damn Holy it. Holy shit. I'm so glad I used that lucky God day. damn it. <laughs> okay. Those are all of his legendary actions, though. Wow, he's out. You seen. now see the power of the chalice. You all will join me as shambling corpses as they do. Um, is he like dual wielding the chalice and the claws, yeah. or is his magic changing? His magic is is generally coming out of his his hand holding the chalice. He'll like grab it with two fingers and do it, or the blood will go away if he's gripping it. You it slid, slithered down his hand. He then gripped you, and then he pulled it back, and the claws came back out. Got it. So he's kind of like... It's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's pretty rad. He's pretty, pretty rad. Good, yeah. Anyway, uh, that is... Uh, now it's Angela's turn. Apologies. After you get fucking life destroyed. Yeah, so I'll like call him a little blood. You asshole! <laughs> and I'll fire two arrows at him. Okay. Double 18, so that's yeah, 30 hit. hit. That'll, that'll both hit. I just moved him down there. Because my guy was here. That's it's you. Because we have to go. You're your hunter, right? It's twenty. Twenty-eight. Thirty-six damage. Thirty-six damage as you fire two arrows, and they both sink in as he looks down as the uh, the, the horrible uh, magic, uh, the horrible wine starts to seep out and go into his wounds, and you are within, yeah, definitely within range. And once again, from those two wounds, wait, uh, which which was the last arrow that it hit? How many was of those? <coughs> Does anyone remember? Mm -mm. Hold on, it would have been... 22. It was 20, it was 22, how much was the total? It was... shit. Wait. 
chat. To the Can team. someone clip that and find out how much damage Anyone just said in two separate attacks, please? I would be forever in your debt. I think it was... Thir- it was 36. 36. It was 20 yeah. plus 16, so... Yeah. We get confirmation on those two two individual attacks from Angela? So, so we'll say... We'll say four, I think the second attack was 18. 18. So oh, we'll just say, we'll say it's 18, mm-hmm. and we'll say it's 36 total, 18, as it fires oh, in and make a dexterity saving throw as this blade shoots out from his wound. It almost looks like an arrow flying at you. Okay, so I make a dex. Dex saving. That's really terrible. 11? 11. 18. So you take immediately, this shoots into you as you take just nine points of necrotic damage. So as the blade deals half of the damage back that you've done to it. Ooh, as it flies, wow. as it uses reaction. Oh, oh God! I have <laughs> 49! <laughs> you dodged both of like megaton hits. Wow. <laughs> no. Okay. Is that, is that your turn? Or you have uh, one more arrow? Right? That or was no? double arrows. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run. Um, You'll take like, an attack of opportunity. It's fine. I have to get yeah. out of that. Away. Oh, this way. Away. In the darkness. <laughs> you can you can only move half half speed. Yes. Uh, so thirty five. So. so remember, this is all darkness, yeah. and this is light. So well, would, then the other way. I just need to get the fuck away. And you got to move three. Remember. So you can only yeah you can only move Two. half speed. There you go. That's fine. That's and so uh, as uh, you run out into the light, uh, <laughs> the uh, the floor's tiny zombie form slashes at you and misses. As your man, you just just barely misses. As uh, that is her turn. Alphonse already used all his legendary actions, oh, and with that, his hand swirls with a purple necromantic energy as he rises it up and it shoots down. And then the corpse on the other slab rises up and staring at you, you hear kind of a groan as you see a young man. Well, what was a young man? Killed in his prime. Damn his it. eyes are on the sword that you now hold, Vander, as he gets from the, up from the slab that's directly oh, next to you. Oh, fuck me. As Edward LeBlanc climbs off and is going to attack, to attempt to attack you. Oh, and as he... He, he is not disadvantaged. And as he lets out a moan, 18, you yeah. all feel cluttered. Your brain feels foggy. It feels like you're just overloaded with information. It's, it's difficult to concentrate. And you are all disadvantaged on all ability checks. Holy shit. I am literally worthless. As he's going to swipe in. When it attacks on And slight, he's going to bite uh, bite you. At disadvantage. And he's no, no, he's not disadvantaged because I took damage oh, from correct. the necrotic uh, shit. Nine plus, hold on, make sure. That's still not gonna hit. And then he's going to go in for a bite. 17 misses. Correct? Misses. So he misses you, and then Flora is going to pursue you. Anulin, can you please, uh, we're going to get a bite attack that's going to miss, and we're going to get a claw attack, and that's going to horrifically miss. Jesus Christ. And then who else we got? We got Ingrid. That's going to miss? Okay, I need a new die. That's going to hit, though. So a, uh, a claw attack is going to hit you, Rodak, as she's going to claw into you as... You're going to take 11 points of slashing damage and make a con saving throw against poison for me. Uh, it's a disease, po- but it's a dis- against disease. Does that count as poison? No, it does not. Okay, so it's a horrible disease, but if you are the poison effect. Um, 13. 13, it passes. Oh. So right. you feel the horrible filth of the claw rake you, and you manage to resist. It's 11 damage, right? Yes, okay. of slashing. Okay. From two attacks or one? One. Okay. With that... The moon phases, and darkness descends across the entire chamber. You all feel the horrible sense of dread wash over you. Okay. Vandris, you're up. Wow. The darkness holds much worse than mere trickery and boogeymen. <laughs> um, I am literally worthless. Uh, I'm assuming cool? now... Huh? That, He's just saying, that I can't, awesome. I can't sneak up on Alphonse because I have a fucking prepubescent ghoul trying to attack me. Um, I won't be able to approach him unseen. I'm gonna take an opportunity attack. 
Yeah, I mean, well, it's going to draw attention to you, right? With the 34 stealth and him being here without having moved yet, would Alphonse walking by, would you have seen Vandross? I would say he probably would not have, and then the only reason why Edward noticed you is that you were literally directly next to him. Right, I guess my argument is, and I'm not trying to like... Oh, he walked directly past you. Well, that, and if I try to move towards Alphonse away from um, Edward, I'm going to create... Potential. D- uh, yeah, I'm going to create noise, and like, I won't be a surprise anymore. Yeah, is my, is that's my fair. Thought. That's fair. Um, I am going to, sadly, attempt to uh, attack uh, Edward and okay. uh, ra- lay him to rest. Okay. So I'm disadvantaged. Yes. Just gotta roll well enough, right? Yeah, that's the only thing. Just gotta roll well enough. Five plus uh, ten is fifteen. Fifteen hits. Uh, so no sneak attack damage. Correct. But I get one d eight plus six plus two d six. Not horrible. Plus an activation of green flame blade. A. Which I left at home. Um, <laughs> I can't. I don't have my foam finger on me. I apologize. No. We forgive you. I have to see Ambulin what it does ears, because so. I don't have. No. Next time. Sneak attack. Okay. Really not learn. Swashbuckler abilities. It's got to be an elvis ability. Of an accuracy. Lucky. Dark vision. Fan. I don't have it written down. I don't have it written down. In your .txt file. Hold on. In my .txt file. It used to be on my old. Unless it's under. Oh wait 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 wait. wait. I have it. Uh, so, it will be additional 1d8 fire damage. Okay. And then it jumps to a second target within 5 feet, which is nobody. Alright, come on, Vandris! And you're rolling your, uh, <laughs> fire damage. Yeah, it's all yeah, of okay. it, cool. unfortunately. Only 5. Yeah. 8 plus 8 is 16, plus 4 is 20, plus 6 is 26 points of 26 damage. 26 points of damage. Your blade is alight with a haunting blue, and then it kind of turns into this bluish green as you use green flame blade, and it alights the corpse. It does a considerable amount of damage, but he's still going, yeah, being previously undamaged. Would it uh, cost me extra movement to stand to get up on top of this thing? I would say it would be effortless for you. All right, I'm just going to go just one, one yeah, two. yeah. I think Andy is fine. Staying in contact with Ed- Edward here, Okay. So I can free him. Uh, and with that, he cannot use his thing. Uh, it is the lair action. And with that, he is going to call upon the bats again. So there's a, he's uh, six bats fly down. Fly, my minions! Fly and feast! This is horrible. And we're going to get two on Amiria. Uh, one's gonna fail on Amiria, the other one's gonna fail on Amiria. Jesus. One's gonna go on Sylvie. 15 to hit Sylvie? Okay. We're gonna get a bite on Rodak. You gotta be. F- 12 does not hit on a Rodak. Uh, on uh, Vandris, it's gonna be a natural 20. Oh, wait, no, you're disadvantaged. Yes, I'm now disadvantaged wow. again. And a 10. <laughs> uh, so, wow. you make this bat uh-huh. uh, swoops down on you, and you mean the, the uh, illusion of the Windward Albatross managed to confuse it as it swoops down and you are not able to hit it. Uh, Anulin, you are going to see and, and horribly just misses. God damn it. Okay, with that, it is uh, Sylvie's turn. Um, I'm going to fire one of my glitter lances at um, the little girl. Okay, four. Um, and that is a uh, 14. 14 hits? Barely. Uh, 10. 10. As you, uh, she turns to you, and you almost see a, a glimpse of recognition as you see the little doll on her side, and she kind of lets out this, like, angry hiss as you, you blast a hole in the corpse, and it falls down. Immediately, a swirl of spectral blue above you. She looks down and says, Thank you so much. It was so horrible. Hopefully I can help. And you feel another boon wash over you, and you are advantage on concentration and saving throws. Nice. Okay, that was the first glitter lance. Um, Do you want to write that down? Huh? Uh, yes. Andy, yeah. oh. So advantage on concentration saving throws. I'm going to throw the next one at the nanny. Okay. Um, is it concentration or constitution? Concentration. Uh, 23. Both hit? Oh, damage? Uh, no, 23 oh, yeah. hit for Four, the first one. Yeah, okay, 14 that hits. And then uh, 8 damage. Okay. On the nanny. Yep. Okay, you blast it. And then the next one is uh, a 16. 16? Hits, yep. 
Um, and that is 14 damage. 14 points of damage. You blast her with two. She's looking very, very rough. Very, it's hard for her to hang on, it seems. Her arm is off. One of her arms is off. And she's shambling around, but she's barely hanging on. And with that, is that the end of your turn? Mm-hmm. Uh, with that, it is Alphonse's turn. As he is going to turn... What is he going to do? Oh, he's pretty far. So, uh, what he's going to do is use a spell. And he is going to move. He sees this beacon. I apologize, I apologize, I apologize. I apologize. Hey! Thank you, Fucking Mergle! Thank you for the It's not blowing up on our screen here, but thank you. Yeah. And, oh, he's going to step up on top of the slab. And Rodak, he's going to look down at you, and once again, his hand is going to glow this gross brownish green. Uh, oh, fuck. He's going to step up on top of the slab. Oh, fucking everything up. And he's going to look down and cast Blight on you as you feel this horrible just disease seep all into you. And for that, you're going to have to roll... I'm going to cast counter spell on it. Roll the business. It's uh, at a fifth level, so... Fifth level. Uh, Blight is a fourth level. How does that then work? Then it auto... Auto, ca- auto counter. You do that, <laughs> and it works. And as, as you see... <laughs> <laughs> As you see the horrible, tortured spirits rising around, racking, this is going to fuck Rodak up. (laughs) And Sylvie sees this, and she holds out her hand, and immediately the swirling, brownish, greenish disease on the hand immediately snuffs out, and he looks down, and he says, Moon child, you will be mine in death, and nothing can stop that. Yeah, except for my family, asshole. That's a... Yeah! (laughs) She may be stupid, but she sure is pretty, guys. (laughs) That's debatable. And... (laughs) Damn! Which one? (laughs) I've seen those hands. And that's fucking his turn. Rodak, you're up. A little up. tighter down. <laughs> um, how's old uh, Ingrid looking? She's looking very rough. Both Ingrid and... Uh, oh, he, he needs to roll a con saving throw and do, I think, another uh, oh. dive damage. A natural... Yeah, he's going to fail. Yeah! He takes one damage. Ooh, okay. So every as, as the, the curse uh, seeps in as he's resistant, but it's still doing something. She's looking rough, he said? She's looking very rough. Very rough. Okay, I will... Um, and Edward's not looking great either. Good. I will uh, go in for an attack on Ingrid. Natural 20. Oh, I'm just oh! advantage now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you Everyone is advantage. No, I, I rolled a natural 22 and then... Okay, that's not... I haven't rolled enough. It sucks. Are like, you putting stuff back in here? It felt here. very, very, very sad. Roll that. Uh, six, 12 damage. 12 damage. And you, uh, as she, her arm is off, she's just moaning and groaning as she's trying to hit you, and you cleave her in half, and she slides oh, down shit. and collapses. And once again, you see a floating specter flying. The bonnet, the exact same figure that had been pleading to accept fate. She looks at you and says, oh, I'm sorry I couldn't get through to Alphonse, and I, I know you won't either. Hopefully I can, if I could brew you my best tea to put a little bit of pep in your step, I would. Hell yeah. And you feel a boon come over you. Your speed is increased by 10 feet. Oh, oh. I'm a fast little girl. But that's halved, right? No. No. Not anymore. So, you, don't lose, so you, you lose the debuff oh, fuck and yeah. gain the buff. I apologize. Plus 10 so you have advantage second. on concentration. Per, right, so you feet, said 10? Per second? 10. Plus 10 feet per second, right? Yes. Per, per, per round. Uh, but what I mean, is it measured in feet per second? Or feet per, feet per six seconds. Okay. So, yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Okay. Uh, and with that, Edward, Edward's corpse is still up, so I don't need to do anything there. And with that, uh, that's Rhoda. Okay, that was your first attack. Um, so fast now! Seeing that, I'm going to run up and get up. Or I guess I'll run up over Take here. an opportunity attack from the bat. Yeah. Oh, 17 hit does, it misses, design. right? You're good. 17 misses. It, you manage to dodge out of the way. And I will bring my sword around on Alphonse uh, okay. for my second attack. 
26. Nice. 26. That, yeah, that does it. Um, I will make that a... I'll make it a menacing attack. Okay. It's menacing. Uh, with save throw. Saving throw. Wiz. How are you all? 19. Okay. Uh, 9, I don't know what 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 damage. 21 damage to, Al- to Alphonse. To Alphonse. You slash your sword into the magic, tearing his flesh. Um, and then I tell the third attack, I, you know what, fuck it, let's do it again. Uh, 19, does that hit? 19 hits, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll keep it there. This I suck. Um, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 damage. 14 damage on Alphonse. Uh... And then I will turn and I will go... Uh, 1 and a half. So your speed is 40 right now? Yes. No, it's actually 80. Cause I'm a, that's oh, yeah. Old. Wow. Uh, <laughs> fucking fast fucking dwarf. Never yeah, give the dwarf. Uh, three and a half. Did you take an opportunity, Zach? Yeah, what I get? Oh, you would... it has he used his reaction yet? Uh, he has not used his reaction. Okay. I should have used it on what you did, but that's fine. Uh, he's going to use his reaction to try to... Um... He's going to try to... His hand glows. The blood drops. As you're try... He's going to try to grab the back of your head as you run away. He's disadvantaged. He's an advantage. Great. I don't know why I give you this item. And it's going to be a natural one. Okay. <laughs> this, is, this is fine. This is fine, ladies and gentlemen. This is, this as, is and as he grabs it, and face. he doesn't even get a wisp of your hair as he stands on that. It's like, I will drain your life, Rodek. I killed Inger this turn, right? Yes. I'll use a bonus action to attack that bat. But I kill it. You kill the bat. A disadvantage? Sorry. Thank you. Sylvie. I kill the bat. Yeah, still good. <laughs> Ooh. Sweet. Okay. Thanks. And with that, yeah. it is a... Amira's turn. It is a legendary action turn. Oh. I don't like it. I don't care for it. I don't care for it. He's not a melee ranger or anybody. Mm-mm. Apologies. Uh, no? Uh, he is going so to... me out. <laughs> oh, what should I do? He is going to look at you, Rodak, and he is going to uh, cast Chill Touch. And he's going to fling an undead, chilly corpse business at you. And he's going to get another natural one. Hey, chilly corpse okay, business. Okay. Okay. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Okay, that's cool. Amiria, you're up. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, and she is going to... She's gonna look around at all the spirits up ahead, and uh, she's hey, gonna say, yeah, it's "Big screen D and D." These are a lot more. These guys are a lot more helpful than I used to be. And she is going to just bam, bam, and try to attack these uh, these these bats. One's gonna be a natural twenty and kill it, and the other one is going to hit and kill it. Both bats are dead. Uh, at Amiria's feet Here, as she is going to run over and yeah. try to get so within she's trying to go within 60 can, is Amiria within 60 feet of Angelin? Uh, no. no okay can you move her within 50 feet she has, she's uh, 40 feet now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 I mean she's she has to like, be the biggest there she's just going to move right over there and she's going to say you're not looking good Angelin <laughs> Try not to die. And you're going to enjoy all that healing business, which is what? It's uh, nine. Nine points of healing. Okay. So, uh, that's her turn. And then with that, it is going to be a... (laughs) Alphonse is not in melee range of anybody. He is going to... (laughs) He's going to stay right there. He's going to sit annually, you're up. Okay. So they were in the middle of that um, thing. I'm going to fire two arrows at Alphonse. Okay. Disadvantaged. Okay. Yeah. Because we're in all in darkness. So you can just take that as one roll. Yeah. Ah, one so attack 20 roll. to hit. 20 hits. Cool. Obviously. 
And 20 again. What was it that new guy did to us? I can't remember. 20 uh, 10 feet per second. Oh, no, this guy, uh, he... Disadvantage on all dis ability checks. Disadvantage ability on ability checks. checks. So I should actually write that down. 10, 11, so 19 uh. is the first damage. 19 is the first damage? Okay. Yep. And... Uh, 18 is the second damage. 18 on whom? Alphonse. On Alphonse. As you're firing arrow after arrow, they just keep doo, 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 flying in. So 37 total. 37 total. Uh, he has already used his reaction on Rodak. And then I'm uh, gonna use my bonus action to drink a potion. Got it. That is maxed. Yes, yeah, so if you, depending on how, well. What? So depending on how weak you are, you might want to adjust what kind of potion you use, because it's maxed. On Mac, on Max, yeah. You oh, we only have two rounds of that left. So. That's what I was asking oh, really? before. What do you mean? Never mind. Fuck it. No, no. Sure. The, the twenty points that he was giving us was was something different. Was something different. It, oh. it doesn't apply to yeah. a healing yeah, okay. spell. It was oh. adjusting the max HP. It was basically undoing the curse that he did. Okay, so I'm gonna use a greater. Okay. You chug a potion after you fire these arrows into Alphonse. They sink in. So it's just four plus four plus four plus four plus four. Plus four however many times. And with and that, that, it is... He is going to uh, turn... So it's the max benefit of this potion. It's not yes. heal too max. Correct. No. Got the it. max benefit of the potion. So if you have a higher one, that might be a better one to use now when you don't have to roll for it. Oh! Yeah, it depends on how low you are, right? You don't I'm want really to... Have a, this is you just have a superior the healing, after, you get the full benefit of the After that healing. happens, he's going to look at you and it says like... Nice shot, let's see how I do. And he's going to fling out another uh, chill touch at you. And that is going to be a 18 to hit. That does hit. 8 times 4 is what, 32? 32 plus 4 is 36. No, it's 32 plus 8. Plus 8. Sorry, so 40. 40. Okay. So you get 40 health when you use a superior. That the helps. <laughs> After you chug the potion, a horrible necromantic uh, an undead hand hits your face. You take, uh, or your neck. You take uh, 8 plus 6 is 16 points <laughs> of necrotic and, and damage. And you're out of the thing, so it doesn't double. Yeah, yeah, it's, just 16. it's 16 points, and you cannot gain any more healing until the end of your next turn. Okay. And with that, he is going to raise his chalice again. And... He is going to uh, say, Mother, I never cared for your lessons or your music. Rise and show these interlopers the horrors of your harpsichord. And she, you see Amelia LeBlanc rise, the horrible undead form, and she lets out this wailing that almost sounds like the horrible waltz that you had heard previously. And... All of you are going to take seven points of necrotic damage. Okay. As it's so horrific, it racks your brain. As How she, much was it? Seven yeah. points. Fuck. Uh, and she's going to rise. Right back down. And buh, buh, buh. Yep, bring it on. Buh, buh, buh. Bring it on, woman. I'm dead woman. Okay, yeah, so she is. So all. So she's gonna make a bite attack up against advantage. A disadvantage. Disadvantage. No, I took damage. Fuck. Uh, either way, it's gonna be twelve to hit. Okay, you, these are retired. Uh, you took damage. That's gonna be a nine to hit. Uh, that's Miss. for the claw. Miss. And then is there another zombie? Where's Edward. The bat and Edward. Edward. So Edward is going to. Don't do this, Ed. Edward is going to bite you. Uh, for that's definitely gonna hit. Fuck. And so it sink. He sinks his teeth into you, dealing. 13 points of piercing damage. And he's going to claw you, and it's going to miss horribly. Thank God. And then, how, what other zombies are up? Just them? There's bats. I don't think there's any other zombies. No, yeah, no other zombies. The two yeah, just the two. So that's fine. The bats have just have, are fine. Uh, and with that, the darkness looms over you, and you see that as it's reached its zenith, it then is starting to move towards a blood moon. Hold on. Hold on. It's staying new moon. It's it's transitioning. It's past the zenith now. It's staying full full new moon. Uh, so no change. So no change. Okay, it's still yeah. it's still shifting. But you start to see the very it's starting to shift towards the blood moon. But this is a two turn on the new moon. That makes sense. Okay. With that, it is Vanish's turn. I attack Ed. Okay. What did I hit with last time? A fifteen. This is a six. It's a fourteen. It's in. This is a 16. Yep. I'm going to use Green Flame Blade again. Okay. Ten. 
10 plus 6 is 16, plus 6 is 22 points of damage. 22 points of damage on Edward, and uh, your your blue and now green flaming blade alight, and you stab him directly through the chest, and he kind of feels a sense of recognition, and he falls down. I say, uh, I say, uh, rest in peace, Edward, and thank you for all you've done. And you see his spirit above you. He says, thank you for all that you've done. Please bring peace to my little brother. And all of you enjoy advantage on ability checks. Fuck yeah. And then as my bonus action, I'm going to chug a superior healing potion. So that's 40 points of healing? Yeah. Yep. Okay. With that... It is, oh, uh, that is going to be a, uh, a what you call it, attack, and he is going to, once again, fire his, uh, his, uh, necromantic hand at you, Vandress, and it is not disadvantage, right? Uh, it is now my turn. So it is. And it is. So you went, you're right, it is his advantage. So, uh, it misses. Beautiful. Okay, that's the last of him. Layer action. Um, okay, so as as this happens... 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30, 30, 30. <gasps> Okay. Uh, and so, I didn't realize that this was in range. I got something I can do. So, as... You hear a the loud blast of the organ from the far end of the room. Get louder and louder and louder and louder. And you hear the symphony of the night. And everyone but Anulin, I believe, 100 feet from the organ. Over there? Yeah. 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 Everyone but Anulin is going to have to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, okay. Okay. Ooh. 21. That's gonna be. DC's 15. Not enough for me. I got a 11. Okay. 13. 13. So, uh, as as you hear this haunting symphony of the night, you are start to sway to this organ music, and you are incapacitated, overwhelmed until you take damage until the end of your next turn. Uh, is it any kind of a? Charm? Uh, I would say yes, is a charm. I think I have. Oh, there you I go. Have, I have an advantage. On yep, you are charmed. Yes, yeah, being charmed. charmed. Sylvie, you hear it, and it has no effect. Slar. Thank you, Dad. I'm so effective. Thank you, what? I'm okay. So, okay. so Vanders, you hear you you hear that, and it uh, immediately you're entranced by the music. What are the rules for incapacitated? Oh, a major, okay. major blood fucking and silly. <laughs> you can't take actions. You can't take actions. No automatic crits or anything? No. Okay. No. All right. You just and basically lose so, a turn. Yeah. Fuck. You're like dazed, basically. God, yeah. I'm worthless. I am so worthless in this fight. And so, uh, with that, the, I got one good hit in. The bad doesn't know that, though, so we'll see if he hits you. He has advantage, though. Uh, I have not taken damage, yeah. so he's still... The one sick. would have hit, uh, but he's going to miss with the, the disadvantage, as he managed to miss... Uh, where's the other bats? One's gonna fly directly at you, Rodak. And then we're gonna get—is that—is that one on Anulin? Yeah. A big old bite on that. That's gonna be a 19 to hit. Oh, hey. he's savage too. What is that? African said, "What did I miss?" And he said, "They all died." And he went, "What? Really? No!" And then Elise was like, "No." Uh, it's a fight. Seven <laughs> points of piercing damage and five points of necrotic, and your maximum hit HP goes down by five. Now. <laughs> I don't care for it. <laughs> Sorry, DM, but no. <laughs> uh, with that, uh, and then one's going to attack Rodak. It's going to bite Rodak. That's going to be a 13. That's going to miss. And with that, I believe all the bats have gone. The charm, Sylvie can't be charmed. Vanders is charmed. Uh, with that, it is uh, Sylvie's turn. Um, I am going to... I'm going to move. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. That's fine. Um, and then I'm going to fire my Eldritch Blasts at um, What's Your Face. I have 35. Okay. Um, what, what's her AC? 
Uh, the oh, the charm, the uh, retreat is the fourteen. Is the Emiliano fourteen? Okay, good. So that one would have hit. I forgot I was rolling really disadvantage, so all of those would have hit. Um, all those those two would hit, and those hit. Perfect. Do we know what Guru's dice do when it, when it charges up with natural ones? Yeah. Remind me. From the hamster song? Yeah. <laughs> 35. 35. 35 points of damage from Amelia. Yeah. And she was not damaged. And so you blast her. All of you are titter. Her arm goes off. Her hair is singed. She almost looks like she's about to die. And she's barely <laughs> hanging on. Uh, and Alphonse is going to use his last legendary action in order to... In order to what? Kill everybody! <laughs> he is going to... He's toying with us up to now. Yeah, probably. He's going to uh, blink 40 feet directly on top of Manula. Fuck me! Why do I talk at all? <laughs> 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 You've been very comfortable over there with your arrows, darling. He could smell your man hands. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Intro- let me introduce you to my vampire hand. <laughs> man in the hand, meet vampire hand. And he is, uh, what is he going to do? <laughs> I think he's just gonna just claw you twice in the face. Just claw twice. Okay, these dice need to get she's fucking retired. Twice. I don't know what to say. She's One's gonna, gonna miss. Twice, and he's gonna hit it twice with his vampire. And then the other is going to hit, however, and he is going to deal how many piercing? <laughs> hey, I'm clawing you. Oh no no, uh, seven <laughs> points of piercing damage. Seven points. Seven points of piercing damage. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And. Anybody else ten points of necrotic damage. I was. As you feel oh, well. ten points of we'll necrotic, later. and your HP <laughs> max HP reduces by ten. Oh! As the necromantic energy from the uh, the, the the blood wine, the soul wine of of this claw slices you. Okay. Uh, with that, it is Rodex turn. Right? Rodex turn. Yeah. Oh, uh, he needs to heal to make a con saving throw, and he takes three points of damage. Nineteen. That passes. Three isn't. Can you get? Can you get three? So he takes one. He takes I rolled a four and a three. I rolled seven. Oh, so three. half is three. Three. So he passes, but he takes three. Yeah, so looks the damage. Okay. He's, he now has no. As the curse the hits him, and he manages to spell it off. And with that, it is that's his turn. Rodek, you're up. Yeah, so now it's officially Rodek's um, turn. Are we still half speed? No. 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 no we're we have plus to extra ten plus ten. One, two, three, four. You're eighty five. speed. Oh, so I can easily get to him. Yes. Uh, yes, Rich, you can. But we're still disadvantaged. So what I'm actually going to do <laughs> is I'm going to uh, basically, be feeling kind of rough, I'm going to just move behind here and like try to like hunker down along the thing. I'm going to search in my bag for the tea thing that's oh, yeah. wrapped and that's use my action to drink a potion of heroism. Yeah, baby. And then I will, I will bonus action to... Um, it's not bad. To bless. Uh, bless use Eight healing surge. Yes. Or what's it called? Second wind. Second wind. You use second when you channel your dwarven abilities to, to or your health. fighter abilities. I don't know how it works. And you you steal yourself and you feel uh, energized as this happens for this purpose. And where is Alphonse? He is there. And so he is just going to use his legendary action to uh, the, 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 what is he going to do? Because he's going to grapple you. He's going to once again make, make a slash attack on Anulin. And that's going to hit. And so you take six, uh, no, 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 sorry. Uh, ten points of slashing damage. Oh, wow, that's awful. Seven points of necrotic. As your max HP drops by seven. By seven? Yeah. Oh, now I'm on wacky numbers. I need it by fives. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Sorry. Okay. Uh, that's his legendary action. Uh, it's a it's Amiria's turn. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Amiria is going to. Well, she still can. Oh. 
She is going to once again raise her scimitars up and clang them together and cast mass cure wounds on oh. everyone. Wow. And everyone heals for... Jesus Christ, why do I even do this? Uh, Please be a lot. Please be a lot. Mass cure wounds What's is... Whatever max is. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 3d8, 24, tw uh, tw uh, 29. That's all I need to hear, baby. Yeah. 29 points of healing. Oh, that's huge. Oops. Uh, and then with that... Ooh, I am playing a dangerous game over here. <laughs> <laughs> and he is going to look at you, Anya, once again. He says, Darling, please sit down. And he is, once again, the claw retracts, and he tries to grab you by the face. Thirteen. <laughs> Misses. And you manage to dodge out of the way. With that, all the legendary actions are done. It is Anna's turn. Okay. You do shit there, Anna. I know. I know. Um. Shit, man. I'm gonna... I'm gonna disengage and run towards Rodak. Okay. Um, full speed is 45 right now. So as okay. far as I can go. Uh, so it's one... I was to say three, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I can yeah that's, that's probably good. Eight, yeah. nine, yeah, forty-five. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's so, uh, and you just managed to 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 just back the fuck up, and you're just you running away. Potion, and you yeah. And you down a potion, we'll say. And that would be 40. And if once again, the Forty. he raises 40. a chalice. At four zero. Four and zero. swirls yeah. of purple necromantic energy left. last the final slab. What? Is, Come now, father. Brother, mother. Strike father. these. Not this father. prey down. Yeah, mother, his mother's right father. there. Mother mother's here. right there. Okay. Okay. The harp scored. All right. Okay. You know what? I didn't have, All right. I didn't have one left. It's yeah, you did. You had two when you used the last one. I was monitoring you. Oh, you're right. I'm trying to help. So you. now I have zero. Now yeah. he is going to walk up <laughs> and shambles towards you as they are all going to make their attacks. On Disadvantaged, you. my friend. Disadvantaged. Okay. So how many of them are there on you? Two zombies, one bat. So the bat Damn. doesn't go yet. So <laughs> disadvantage. <laughs> we'll start with a bite. We'll start with uh, a bite from Amelia. It's gonna fail. A bite from, we'll just say a bite from uh, Philip. That is gonna be a disadvantage, it's gonna be an 18. That's a hit. That's a hit, okay. It sinks its teeth into you Fine. as it is going to deal, tears your flesh. Wow, that's horrible. That. Eight points of piercing damage. <laughs> and then a claw attack, and now not this event, we're gonna do two claw attacks from both of them. So that's an advantage. One's gonna miss, the other claw is going to hit as Philip rends you across. And that's going to be. Come on, Phil. It's time to get filled in. <laughs> Eleven points of slashing damage. I don't care. As the claw rends, you make a con constitution saving throw, please. total? Constitution saving throw, yeah. And then con saving throw. I think my con is two. Uh, it ain't good. That's if it's sure. higher than 11, you pass. Yes. I'm good then. You feel the disease start to seep in, but you manage to resist it. Uh, and then who else is left? Uh, is it just them two? That was them two, yeah. Okay, there you go. As you feel a horrible radiating aura, you have disadvantage on all attack rolls. I guess you already do in the fear, but uh, you have disadvantage on all attack rolls. Penis. And so, with that... That might be what I need. Uh, as the moon, first, so you start to yeah. see finally above you, illuminating from the darkness, a Ooh. tiny crescent oh, fuck. of moon appear, and a sliver of red illuminates in Squadron 4, which nobody's in. And you don't know what it does then. Fuck you. Fan <laughs> Disrupt. Is it good or bad? I don't know. A match is struck. A blazing star is born. Is this one Darkest Dungeon? So yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so weird. I was like, Dusty was gonna get it first, but I'm glad you did. I like vaguely know the loose concept of the game. <laughs> That's so edgy weird. enough to be <laughs> quick. So uh, I'm going to attack. Uh, I love your wheezy laugh. I'm gonna attack my gets me. my uh, my organ playing girl over here. Got it. Who's almost dead? Come on. Right, wait, wait. I have to, I have to hit first. 
Could you bonus action to use it, and then you attack, right? No, it's on a successful attack roll. You I bonus like, action lands, to do it. Okay. right? I mean, I don't think it doesn't really matter. Yeah, 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 right. Whatever. Got a fucking twenty, uh, but the nine hits because it's a yeah. it's a nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I am going to green flame blade. Okay. I'm cheesing the shit out of this, and I'm sorry. Yeah, that's fine. It's an ability that you have. <laughs> Uh, that's gonna be 9 plus 8 is 17, uh, plus 6 is, uh, 23 points of damage. You stab her in the throat, she and lets out one final it. wail, and she collapses to the ground. And her spirit rises up above you, shimmering, and he says, I was not able to give Alphonse the motherly love that I tried, but maybe I can help you. And you feel warmth come over you, you will enjoy... Five points of healing. Oh. Every round. Oh! Every round. On fall. But you should have taken two points of necrotic from her the previous round. Oh. So okay. that would just so, negate it. Oops. All of it? Five points, which is two points. Two huh? points of necrotic, five points of healing. Yeah, so if last round we would have gotten two points, but she just healed for <laughs> five, it would have been negated if we were full health. Oh, yeah, full health, yeah, yeah. Um, blah, blah, blah. Okay, uh, I believe so. That is yeah. that vanish. So that it. So you will take three points of healing, and then I can't uh, but then disengage. Every uh, but are you gonna have I'll the fire five, spread to the back? Five points. Oh yeah, sorry, that's a good point. So right then the, the, the bat change, just takes take uh, two plus another one d. So you know if it automatically takes damage, it, it, it ignites okay. in the green flame oh, and just uh, completely incinerates. All right, then I'm just going to no, uh, was, move and around Philip and basically say, "Come at me, bro." Got her off. Philip stands alone of all of the betrayed corpses. And with that, it is a lair. Impressive. It is a lair action. I almost crit, Dusty. I almost got the opportunity. And lair action's gonna be what? <laughs> what are you doing? Smashing my strength. face. I'm hoping that if I smash my face enough that none of this is real. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have a headache. <laughs> Jesus, do you need any medication? No, I try okay. not to take medication if I can avoid it. Fair enough. Uh, Alphonse is going to look at all of you. He's like, you are trying to run and hide from me. There's no escape from your fate. And the spirits are moaning and screaming as they all shift onto uh, Emiria, Rodak, and manual and, hands. And manual and hands. I apologize that that's a thing that I just said. <laughs> One, nope. Can't do that. Yeah, I'll just do that. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Rog and Rolla. There you go. And with that, uh, yeah, it's still sir. I love that you have a canonical nickname. It's what? It's still sir, right? I love it. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Bat, oh, one bat has, love bat has to go. I love it. One bat has to go, which is going to fly is gonna fly in and attack Amiria. And that is going to hit. Does and it still be necrotic AoE? Oh, Mike, there's one down here, yes. too. Oh. Uh, it is going to fly towards Vandris, if it can make 40 feet. It probably can't. Uh, 60 feet. Close. It's close. Oh, 60 yeah, feet. yes, it can. It's going to fly up. So one is going to attack Amiria. That's going to hit. And Amiria is going to take... Ooh. And then necrotic. Okay. And then she needs to make a con saving throw an advantage. And yeah, she passes. And uh, the, the, be the beacon of hope is still going. And with that, it is... Whose turn is it? Shelby's. Shelby's turn. Um, I am Shelby. going to use my action to activate my Rod of the Pack Keeper. Oh, hold on. I need to attack advantage of the bat. Okay. Uh, 20 to hit. That's actually going to hit. Disadvantaged? Oh no, was, was it disadvantaged? It should be. Oh yeah. I haven't taken damage. Uh, right? So one was a 15, one was a 16 plus, so... No, that's a lie. Hold up. No, 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 because, because uh, I got hit here, I yeah. went, and I haven't been hit since. Okay, so it was still, it still hit you regardless. It was a 19 to 20. Just not a crit. Yeah, it was not a crit. Correct. Yeah, there's no, there no natural 20. I've not rolled a natural 20 today. Okay. So it's going to sink its teeth into you, and it's going to, whoa, well, that D6 is gone. It's going to be five points of piercing <laughs> okay. and five points of necrotic, and your HP drops by five. Uh, so total so, 10, I'm going to uncanny dodge and take half. Yes. Okay. So you can show, and yeah. So, so I'll so take five, you, and then I lose how much HP? Five. Right? Five. Yeah. You yeah, take. yeah, yeah. We'll say five. Okay. Cool. With that, it is, uh, now it's officially Sylvie's turn. Apologies. Um, no problem. So I uh, used my Route of the Pact Keeper to regain a spell slot as my action, and then I'm going to move over this way towards Anulin. Uh, probably to here. Um, and then I'm gonna yell, 
Annual and I've got potions, so you should come get them because you're kind of getting trucked. Oh, and then um, on top of that, I like big bets and I cannot lie. You anyone can't deny. Um, I will get this. Just give me time. And I give her bardic inspiration as a bonus action. There you go. And that's a four? That's uh, a d6. D6? Mm-hmm. And that's my turn. Okay. With that, it is... Uh... He, so it's, he's going to use a legendary action to uh, cast Scorching Ray and blast, attempt to attack all of you. So Vandress, that is going to be... That's, uh, so it's not disadvantage. Not disadvantage, it's going to be a 22 to hit. So that's going to be fire damage. It's going to be seven points of fire damage. That's not too bad. On Anulin, that's going to be... That's going to hit. You're going to take nine points of fire damage. Rodek, that's going to hit. You take six points of fire damage. Sylvie. Oh, I take fire damage? No, 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 not yet. Uh, 14 doesn't hit, does yeah, it? That misses. 14, so it misses. It flies over you. And uh, with that, it is... Uh, it is his, it's Alphonse's turn. So, he is going to... move... Gonna stand right at the outset here. I don't want to assume anything, but did we need to replace one of these black with a yes, red? Yes, with a red, correct. Okay. correct. Um, and, and so with that, he is going to uh, raise a hand, and we don't know. Once again, he's gonna look at Amiria, and he's gonna say, "You've been a thorn in my side for too long," and he's gonna cast blight on her. On who? On Amiria. Amiria. Uh, counterspell. Fifth level. It gets counterspell. <laughs> as the magic just disappears from his gloved hand. This is like a mage as, battle. As Amiria gets... Uh, as she's looking, and she, she looks down and goes, That looks really bad. Thanks, Sophie. You're and, welcome. And I've got your back. I can't wait till Felix is this useful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fed up with all of you foiling my plans. And with that, it is... Uh, whose turn is that? Rodek? Rodek's turn. Um, uh, oh, he's there. Would it? So I'm going to go one, that's two, that's three... Yeah, you can mine right next to him. Because he's like... He's, is, is he like he's there? Yeah. So he can so be, I'll, on I'll the be on there with him. And uh, I will... Uh, I, I'm going to disadvantage anyway, so I'm going to just go in for... Uh, 14 doesn't hit, right? Does it? 14 does not hit, no. Nope. Uh, natural one now. Oh, cool. Okay. I missed three times? So you run up to him, and you are clacking, what? cleaving away. Hold on. Well, so what do the natural ones do for us? Five, six. I don't think any of us were oh. oh, so basically you can channel them, and then use them. They pull up, and for every natural one you get, you can just use it, and basically like a magic missile, you do two damage for every natural one that you do. Oh, whatever target you want. Yeah. Ah, cool. Yeah. So, so not of rust. Yeah. So, uh, you are, he's just dodging out of the way, and he's like, Are you afraid, Rodek? Is that why your hands are so slippery? And then I'm going to, uh... No, I think he's just he's feeling lonely before we came into the chapel. He's been grabbing his hog. Ew. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said, feeling lonely. <laughs> he misses Rambi. <laughs> And I want everyone. I want everyone to make an intelligence check. I oh no! I wish I, wish I was dead. I think my intelligence is permanently damaged. Like, <laughs> yeah. Your intelligence drops by that much. Um, I got a one. <laughs> I, got a I got an eight. Um, Let me see what I got here. Just in, straight in. Yeah. Is that a? Mm. Uh, I got a nineteen. The words of Kissy ring out. Oh, my friend! And you remember that she said that she that Alphonse needed to be killed by the zenith of the Red Moon. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're super fucked here, but yeah, sure. No, I, I didn't forget that. Thanks, Sissy. <laughs> and with that... We know! Uh, is it Amir- can't do anything about it. Is it Amiria's turn? Uh, yes, it would now okay. be. If you're done, it's now Amiria's uh, turn. So I ran over here. Thank you. To Edward. Okay. 
Philip. Uh, Philip, sorry. Okay. And does he want to do an opportunity attack? Yes. Does he uses reaction already? Yes, oh, no, I guess I'm right after him. And that'll hit. And he's going to claw you. Oh, man. I gotta focus. Uh, eight necrotic, or eight, uh, eight slashing. And... I'm full first. I can't, like, hit anybody. Yeah. For damage. I don't do any damage. He's gotta kill him first. Yeah. It's a shame that he was the last one. Yeah. What is he doing over there? I'm assuming that he will give us advantage on attacks, which will nullify my disadvantage. Disadvantage, and I actually get 15 necrotic damage. Oh shit! And does it reduce my max HP by that no, much? My damage is basically been reduced by 66 percent so far. Okay. And with that, uh, it's Amiria's turn, and she. She's going to look at Alphonse and say that I am just going to kill you, you son of a bitch. And she's going to run and do a uh, a running leap onto the thing behind, onto oh. the corpse slab behind him. And she is going to uh, slash him. Let's we'll see how she does. One's going to hit it. One's going to be a natural twenty. Hey, as hey. my first natural twenty of the night, and he's going to get hit, and it rends in. And she then grabs her medallion and says, "Let's kill this son of a bitch for hissy." And everyone gets bardic in for inspiration. Yes, because okay. I a d6? did six. Uh, d10. 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 Hey. Bardic inspiration. Heck, 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 heck. Uh, and then no. because I have been using bonus act, passing on bonus actions and not bardic inspirationing, so everyone gets. Someone? And with that, it's, it's I need to roll damage. Really attack rolls, so you, yeah. Yeah. Wait, Basically, I mean, not for damage. Not for damage. But everything else. Everything, everything else. And you also have a D6, so mm-hmm. I'm stacking them. Ten. Got my, my junks right here. And she's slicing into his flesh, and he's kind of stumbling back, and he's looking fairly, fairly rough. As uh, as the just onslaught is uh, is 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 Amiri's hammering into him. Okay, uh, with that it is. I think he then is going to say like, "Well, your tricks are all fine." He's going to try to grab her in the face. No. He should be good though. That's going to hit. We've been managing this well so yeah. far. He's going but to. Take about what's about to, to happen here, yeah. right? Six. Get As she gets again. her uh, a hand on her face in between her horns, and she's gonna make her con saving throw, and she's gonna get a natural one Ooh. and horrifically fail, and she gets completely paralyzed until the end of her next turn. And paralyzed is not draw concentration, right? No, I don't believe so. Okay, no. and I need to actually roll it at advantage. And she fails. As Beacon of Hope drops. As the damage that she takes, Fudge. the glowing moonbeam. You did advantage, right? Yes. Okay. Sorry. Is that the five? I got a three and a four. No, no, no. no. She oh. was trying to save concentration to keep that max heal buff. Yes. Oh. So now, if you use a potion, you have to roll for it. Okay. And you're up. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it was fine because it ended at the end of her turn anyway. Okay. That was the last round of that. Fair. Oh, where are we taking the the five point healing every round? When does that specifically? Probably happen? that'll be on the moon. Okay. And um, I think that you you haven't gotten. We there haven't gotten there. Right? Yeah. Okay. I just yeah. wanted to make sure we weren't supposed to do it start of turn. Nope. Okay. I'm gonna move. Um... Oh, I want to do this. I'm gonna move my max speed kind of like that way. Try to get around Amiria if I can. Uh, what's your speed? What's your total speed? Forty-five right now? right now. That's okay. So that was that was ten. So this would be nine. This is forty-five. Okay. Um. We were here, right? Yeah. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Okay. Which one's the one that Philip is causing the issue? Yeah. For you? yeah. Okay. No. You should have. How's he mindset. looking? Alphonse or Philip? We have Philip. Yeah. No one's hit him. No one's hit no him. One's yeah, well, I just killed yeah. the, the the mother. Oh, that's right. Okay. And I only attacked Alphonse, trying to kill him. I'm gonna um use my bonus action to transfer Hunter's Mark and then fire two arrows onto Philip. Got it. You use your bonus action. You channel the power of nature as it uh, z- uh, z- zeroes in on Philip. 
Um, and is it? Am I in darkness where I am? We all are. Yeah. yeah. The whole map is dark. The whole map is dark. Yes. Well, that's red. Yeah. This is now red, and we don't and know what that does. It's red up to here. This yep. line, I believe. Yep. Okay. And the rest is darkness. Yeah. The rest is all dark. Okay, so that is a 17 to hit. Hits. Disadvantaged. And yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. They both hit. Okay. Um, so. so the first one does less damage, the second one does more, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the first damage that is 13 plus. Eight, so 21 is the Should first damage. Out. 21, you fire, it stabs directly into him. Bone is shattering as this gross ichor is just seeping down the rotting flesh. Okay, and that's 11, big hit. Big 14 hit. plus 8, so 22. 22. So as you fire your arrow through his head, and as the horrible rotting corpse of Philip LeBlanc Let's out a final gurgling moan. Actually, can we finish your turn? I don't know. Is your, is your turn over? That's it. Yep, okay. Yep, yep. Let's out a final gurgling moan and collapses to the floor. You see his shimmering blue specter materialize above you, completing the circle of spirits of the betrayed as they look down upon the fight. As this happens, you see Alphonse stumble as his flesh begins to shift and move. Yes, it's working. I knew it would work. I am beyond a man. I am beyond a vampire. My ascension is nearly complete. You see Alphonse let out a groan of strain as his skull stretches upward and outward. His entire body grows. His limb extends. Muscles bulge and entire body sprouts a thin covering of coarse gray hair. His fangs become huge in his newly formed head that looks grotesquely bat-like, uh, but with no, devilish no. horns and bo- bony protrusions coming down from his chin. Fleshy wing-like protrusions uh, now extend from his arms that run down his newly del- malformed body that seem to have patches of rotting, putrid flesh all the over it. is this guy? The Alphonse LeBlanc before you is far more monster than man, as a fiendish undead bat abomination looks around at all of you with huge red eyes filled with murderous determination. As the transforma- as his transformation to this creature completes, you hear the voice of Philip LeBlanc ring out about around you. Alphonse's final connection to his humanity has been severed. This is his true nature. Strangers, you have freed my family from this nightmare. Take my aim, strike true, and end the nightmare for my youngest, my youngest boy as well. You feel his boon wash over you, and you all have advantage on attack rolls. My man! So they're just normal attack rolls, then? Under yeah. the darkness, yeah. yes. It's all I need, baby. It's all I need! Okay. <laughs> Unleash the beast! And and you see, as his token changes... Oh, Jesus. Oh, he's fucking... He's, mm. like, he's a big boy now. I'm a big boy Here, let's, now. It's a horrible cool. printer, but... I can send people the art if they want. No, it looks tight as hell. It's awesome. And so, oh. holy shit. Ba, 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 uh. ba, 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 ba. Uh, and with that, he is going to do something really fun. Because he can then use his legendary act. Yeah, yeah, he's legendary act. Oh, dear Jesus. So just to be clear, there is no place on the map that is not darkness. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Well, okay. this is covered no, in red light. This, now. this is yeah. not darkness. This is red light. And you then don't next know what turn, that does. This yeah, I don't want to go over there. We're about to find out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll find we'll out. We'll, we'll let you know. know. And you see this huge, slavering bat creature with these webbing wings. And he oh. starts to move his mouth and says, Do you like the real me? And he leans forward and makes a bite attack no, on Emiria. No. no. Trying to get over there. Damn it, I'm like, it's my turn! You get a natural one. Oh, As Emiria just effortlessly dodges. And she looks at him and says, Everyone that you've killed is ten times the man that you are. Even the women. And uh, with that, uh, that is... Yes. Yeah. That is Monsters One dead. turn. Fucking got him. Philip is dead. Yeah, they're yeah. all dead. Uh, There's two bats, but... And fuck the bats. Yeah, fuck the, the bats. The moon yeah. starts to change. Yep. Ooh, let me show the... 
touch me. <laughs> it's it's like, been nice yeah. knowing you, buddy. It's cool, you know. <laughs> what? As, as the it's been moon, uh, blood moon, the l- red light all around you from the ground and beaming down from the moon above, you feel this horrible dark energy just in your core. All healing is halved. Okay, that's not too bad. But we're not scared? You're not scared. Oh, f- <laughs> Come and get me, you bitch! <laughs> <laughs> and with that, it is... If I can get advantage, I will be... I'm gonna oh. go god mode. Oh, okay, sit and I forgot the one thing that he does. He's going <laughs> oh, to look... You just forgot the one He's thing going to he look does. around and... He looks at his chalice and... Look at my unmatched power! The greatest, the greatest alchemist that ever lived. Behold my transmutation power. And his clawed hand swirls with this orange light and blasts towards the back of the room. It coats the entire massive organ. And suddenly you hear as the pipes rip out of the wall. The keys start to move and bend as the massive organ starts to rip itself out of the wall and slam forward and as it starts to uh, move towards you as a giant fucking organ. As the stone smash forward, uh, collapsing into its place because fuck dealing with that. What in the hell's moving castle is this fucking shit? And what's his movement? Oh he God. has none. He's a fucking organ. <laughs> it's like that piano for Beauty and the Beast. Uh, it's voiced by Tim Curry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually an organ. He's oh, an organ. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tim Curry was literally an organ. Yeah. yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nose nine. Nose. What in Beauty and the Beast 2 is this? <laughs> <laughs> As it has to use its sprint to get to you. As you see... Something that you've never seen before, Sylvie. Was the organ and, named Forte? That's awesome. What? As... I said Forte, no. It, it goes... <laughs> as it... <laughs> as this massive organ that's still playing its horrible music. Smashing. <laughs> Smashing! <laughs> as it, it uh, has to sp- use its full movement and sprint in order to get to Sylvie, but it is looking menacing. Okay, Vanish, you're up. Okay, um, I'm going to uh, yell to Anulin and say, uh, Anulin, you did it! Amir, I'm on my way! And I am going to take an attack. Opportunity. No, I'm going to use my bonus action to disengage. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Uh, well, I guess he's, he's like up. there. He's yeah, so. And I'm going to attack this motherfucker, and okay. I'm going to pummel the ever living shit out of him. So it's just a normal attack. <laughs> yeah. That's all I need, baby. And by that, I'm going to use the exploited loophole of disc. Okay. Oh. Uh, that's going to be a 23. A 23. And although it seems like he has now a, a thick, leathery hide, might be harder to hit than Alphonse was previously. It, you stab it in, and it feels like you're actually about to miss this agile bat devil monster as... It dodges as, as it seems to dodge. However, your hand is guided true as you feel a sickness in your stomach, a warmth, and you hear a voice in the back of your mind. Show him he cannot run forever. I'll do whatever it takes to kill you, Alphonse. That was not a great roll. Uh, six, seven, eight, plus seven is 17. No, it's 15, plus three is uh, 18. Plus seven is twenty-five. Plus six is thirty-one. Thirty-one. Okay. As you, uh, your blade stabs in. I'm gonna make sure I do this. Three. I need advantage. As you, and we all regain five hit points. Remember? Yes. Oh, you'll gain. Uh, or no, uh, you'll regain one hit point. Oh. So it's it's a one d eight. Apologies. Oh, okay. So yeah, you all regain yeah, one. Told us yeah. it was five. So yeah. Okay. So it's just it's a one d eight every round. I need to roll it. Uh, okay. I apologize. I rolled a one. As oh, I wrote. The, okay. yeah. The, uh, yeah, I apologize. Um, it's the blade stabs in. It's horrible flesh catches fire as it lets out this. 
You will not kill me with my brother's blade. Bet. He was never good with it. No, not as good as he thought he was. Mm. And with that, it is, I believe he's used his, he has used all of his actions. Then it's a lair action. And uh, with that, you see the uh, Alphonse's uh, raises the chalice of agony. And his hand, his clawed hand glows. And this swirling purplish, bluish, grayish energy spews over the entire chamber. And almost like this strange web grips down onto the corpses of the bats laying around you. And you start to see them move around as he resurrects six bats. Horrible vampire bats that then begin to fly towards you. And I have new new tokens. Oh no. So this guy's still here? He's still here. Oh fuck. One, two, three, four, five, uh... Oh, Vanna doesn't have one. There you go. Long John Silver steps out from among the bottom of the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> and with that, uh, they're all going to fly, and, and the bat is going to fly towards you, Rodak, if there's any, uh, and then the other one's going to fly towards... Is that one towards Sylvie? Okay. Yes. And could you move the other one closer to Sylvie? Oh, sorry. And with that, uh, they all fly in. Mm-hmm. Yes. And so the undead one is going to attack first. To who? To Sylvie. Uh, 18 to hit. I'm going to use my action to use shield, so yeah. yes. Okay, you, you see the shimmering spectre. You almost kind of hear a child's laughter as it emerges, the shield emerges. And it, you now have your bomb-ass AC. And uh, <laughs> it with, with your new AC, it would have hit you. Both of them miss. With they're your, all 21. Yeah, I, no. Yeah, uh, they, 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 all, they all barely miss. A 20 was okay. the next one. Uh, holy shit. And then uh, uh, Vandris, you are going to get attacked by one of the bats. Disadvantage. Uh, 15. Misses. Uh, 15 misses, so uh, that's a miss. Uh, one is going to attack Amiria. Is that undead? No, that's not undead. Yes, it is. Undead well, on, Amiria. on Amiria? Yep. yep. Oh. Uh, that's going to horribly miss. Rodak, we got two on. Well, we're going to do one the... regular, one undead on me. Uh, regular is an eight. God damn no. it. Ah, the undead, however, is a 23. And with Barely that, misses. what? Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry. So you take the fangs sink into you. You take six points of piercing damage. That was okay. cocked. One point of necrotic, which lowers your max HP by one, and you need to make a con saving throw. Is it poison? It is not. As you feel these the undead, a uh, horrible paralyzing magic seep into you from the fangs of these vampire bats that have been risen. That sounds terrible. Mama gumdrop buttons. Mama gumdrop buttons. 16? 16 passes. Or no, 15. 15, 15 also passes, I believe. Okay. Yeah, 15 also passes, and you shrug off the paralyzing uh, magic of these vampire bats. And uh, anybody... Oh, uh, Sylvie Wen, uh, we, we didn't do the annular ones yet, did we? No, not yet. Okay. Uh, we got one on annulin. We're going to do... Both of those are undead? I'm sorry, I should have had better... Yes, they're both undead. Yeah. That's going to miss. And I can, bo- I can just let they know. both miss hor- horrifically. Greetings, okay, and then that's it for the layer action business. Right? Or no, he didn't oh yeah, he summoned the bats, they attack everyone attacks, we're good. Sylvia. So um I'm gonna use my ring of spell storing and I'm going to cast far step on myself. Oh. I don't even know what that does. Um yeah. it, every, it's a bonus action and I get to boop uh sixty oh. feet away. Oh, shit. I go invisible and teleport so you get away. So you see Sylvie disappear and do you appear back again or you're just invisible? Yeah, and I can use it every round for a minute. Oh, so she shaboops herself into a non, non-person non and yeah, she, really she uh, teleports yeah. away. And with that, it is... But that's my bonus action. Oh. So as my actual action, <laughs> I'm going to fire all of my Eldritch, or my Glitter Lances at Alphonse. Got it. And I'm in the light, so I'm not at disadvantage, right? Correct. So I would actually no, be you're No, you're not in the light. Can oh, no. You? Yes, 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 I am. I'm in the light. Oh, it's half moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Okay. I did so, not realize we So we determined the red does not murder you horribly. It, so it has healing. Has healing. Natural 20 on the second one. Oh. Gotta give it up. Gotta give it up. And then uh, the other one hits. It's like almost So three 30. hits, one of which is a natural 20. Yes. Fuck yeah. Okay, so it's I'm I'm a warlock without hex, so it doesn't mean anything. 
Um, so this is. He's, he's 18 now, by the way, instead of 17. Just so everybody knows. Higher. What is it? Higher. It's so, higher. Uh, 19 for the crit. 19 for the crit. It blasts into him and deals. And then uh, 13 for the other two hits. Because I rolled a 13 two combined? Two. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I rolled a two and a one. As uh, the as the uh, blood moon is now at its half, looming over you. It, uh, Sylvie, you, you managed to just completely go invisible, this massive organ and these undead bats uh, closing in on you. And you tap the ring that Dobro gave you and the spell that you stored allowed you to pop invisible and just blink uh, into the red light. And you're no longer afraid, but you feel even worse. However, you're, cons- you're, you're, you're dedicated to killing Alphonse and psh, all three of the green swirling Elders Blast smash into him. And he lets out a, uh, a hiss at you and is like, you could have had immortality, Sylvie. You will now be a puppet and a puppet with a very short lifespan. And with that, oh, it's- That's the guy that's dying. <laughs> God, duh. <laughs> I don't think though is the right time. I shouldn't have used that then. <laughs> <laughs> he he looks at everyone. Hold on to your butts. And he he's deep in the tank. I think I know what I'm going to do. He's, de- he's going. He's deep in the tank, ladies and gentlemen. The DM's digging deep. He's digging deep. Oh god. Yeah, when he gets a vacant stare, beware. As, <laughs> as you see Alphonse, his mouth opens. And as he holds up Fuck. the chalice, his clawed hand glows with flaming force, rises up. It transfers to his mouth. A bead fires out and explodes into a fireball. Uh, which I'm going to use. Do you need this gizmo? Yes. Ah, wow. Oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> I've been fireballed! Yeah. Oh, oh, I gotta be able to hit yeah, it. Yeah, you, you, you. I think you can. Yeah, you right? can. That's that's yeah. probably it right there. Yeah. Uh, he's going to then the actually. The bats are all gone at least. He is going to yeah. flap uh, back. And as he flies back, he uses his ability flyby. He is the wings. Flat back, and he's uh, uh, the wind is so forceful, you are unable to make opportunity attacks against him. Of course. How far does he go back? Uh, he goes back one, two, three. That. And everyone needs to make a dexterity, dexterity saving throw. Check, you say. Dexterity oh. saving throw. We have advantage on. That's not a skill check. It's nope. Save. No. Okay. It's a save. I have advantage but. on saving throws. What? Why? Because of my pearl. Yep. Oh, oh that's fuck. All magical dogs as well. That's that gotta be good enough. I got a twenty-four. Don't forget you have a twenty-four passes. D10 and you've got twenty-seven. Twenty-seven passes. Right up. We don't know what his DC is, right? No. Uh twenty. Twenty. Thank also. you, Amiria. Jesus Holy Christ. Shit. I apologize. I mean I'm just trying to f- oh there it is. Uh do not have it spinning anymore. As you all take half of this. Twelve. Goodbye, Vance. I take zero. Thirty-four points of fire damage. You take half of that? Half of that. Oh. So you all take <laughs> half of thirty-four points of fire damage yeah. as uh it, as the blast. It Miria is unable to dodge, and she oh, she gets no. completely singed oh, and uh, gets blasted. And I think all of the bats get incinerated. They yeah, I, I would think so. I think they, they all, yeah. Yeah, they all get incinerated. Well, As all of the bats go up. Except these two. Yeah. Uh, can you please separate the regular from the undead? I pol- you can just yeah. get rid of the, you can get rid of the regulars. Okay. And all the bats let out a shriek, and they're all incinerated, and the fireball erupts, and that is his action. Uh, with that, it is uh, Rodex' turn. Breathe me in red light. Um, 
I'm going to one, three. I'm gonna run right in up to him. Um, you are back in. I'm back in the darkness. darkness. Yep. So I'm afraid. But, but it's a normal attack. I could have used bless on that. Oh well. Holy crap. Another natural one. So feel free to add it. I will. That's what, four for me tonight? At least? Five? A lot. Yeah, it's a lot. lot. Are you using my die? Yeah. yeah. My good one? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. He was rolling really shitty on his, his two. I think it's just you. I think it's yeah. just he, it The way he rolls, yeah. he just kind of... And then just... You got him. a 20 gazillion. You got a shake. Uh, 20... Okay, yeah. I need to roll gazillion on a die. Uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 20, 15, 16, 17 damage. 17 damage. You slash into him after the bat monster dodges. Um. I hit. Uh, 12 damage. 12 damage, okay. So those are all my attacks. Um. And yeah, that's that's all I'm doing here. Okay. Uh, as as you're wailing on him, Rodak, he's going to look down at you and he is going to uh, make a. Oh, yes. I can I put this action uh, check a potion? Go ahead. You do that. You continue, sir. He leans down and attempts to make a. <sighs> Bite attack on you. Oh shit. It's gonna hit. Six. Seven, eight. Nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Seven, eight. Nineteen. You take. Fourteen points of piercing damage and. Twenty points of necrotic damage, and your HP is lowered by twenty. So hold on. So fourteen. Fourteen piercing. So, but it's eleven and twenty points. Yep. All necrotic. Right. As as the, as he drains your blood, and you feel the necromantic, horrible black magic seeping into you as he drains you. Okay. Uh, with that, it's Mira's turn. She is uh, looking fairly rough, and she is going to. He's going to look at Alphonse and say, he's like, but you know, we can't do that. Is she still incapacitated or did she already take her missed turn? Uh, she, was she incapacitated? At she, one point she was. Oh no, it's not her, her, oh, she was paralyzed, right? Oh, she was paralyzed, so this is her turn. She's now, so she's paralyzed, she's frozen up. She's unable to take any actions annually in her up. Okay, um, I'm gonna use my bonus action to drink a potion. Um... I'll just roll my healing after that. Okay. But, uh, I'm gonna fire two arrows at Alphonse. Okay. Echo. Oh. Hmm. I lied. I'm not going to the drink the potion. Bonus action. I'm transferring my hunter's mark back to Alphonse, and then I'm gonna fire two arrows. Yep. Do you want to stay in the darkness or move one over into the light? Oh no, no. This would. This is. Yes, the light. I'm gonna move to the light. I was gonna okay. stay there and drink my potion, and then. Back like there. Yeah. Um. So it's advantaged now, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's so bad. All right. That so that's definitely thirty to hit. <laughs> and oh, thank God that definitely yeah. hits too. Twenty. I don't know. Yeah. Twenty something out of all. It hits. How's he looking, by the way? He's looking rough. As as the as you're seeing that all his flesh is kind of starting to fall off. This undead, devilish monstrosity. As he's looking rough, his eyes are getting more and more wild. First damage is 17, second is 14? Yes, 14. 14. So 17 and 14. Uh, make a dexterity saving throw as he uses his reaction to fire back a blood bolt at you. Uh, two, you easily 20. dodge out of the way. Yeah. So it was 17 plus what? Sorry. Uh... Eight and six. Fourteen? Seventeen and fourteen. Fourteen, yeah. Okay. 
uh, as you're firing arrows, he's starting to get more wild. His eyes are going wide, all looking at you with his murderous hatred. Okay, who's, uh, who, uh, Anyolan? It is monsters. Uh, after, with that being the case, um, Alphonse is going to once again make a bite attack on Rodak. <sighs> as he sinks his fangs in and gets a 16. As Rodak is easily able to dodge out of the way uh, from this attack. And with that, it is now officially uh, the... Everyone enjoys seven points of healing as you feel the motherly warmth of Amelia, uh, except for Sylvie gets half and Anula gets half. Oh. Uh, so right. three? I'm full, so I'm three. And so with that, it is, uh, it is going to be the organ's turn. Shit. As it <laughs> stomps, it's, it's loud playing. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> best door? Holy fuck! <laughs> That's the best door! <laughs> it's, it's entire... It's, it's entire frame is moving with each massive step. As it, it's undulating. And it's going to uh, bring down a slam attack on you. Oh, smash! That's going to be a 20 bunch to hit. That'll do it. So, i got to find my D12s. <laughs> 20 points of bludgeoning damage as it smashes down on you. Hmm. Okay, uh, with that, it is Vanish's turn. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only strength to follow it. And I rush at Alphonse. And I have advantage on my fucking attack. So if the gods... Wait, had so the moon is switched? Oh, the moon switches over, yes. Okay. So the moon now switches over. It is now a waxing gibbous blood moon. As the, the light all around you emerges with this, this glowing, ghastly red light. So if the gods could ever grant me a natural 20 right now, it would be the time. Okay, I got two twos. <laughs> the good news is that I have Elven Ackers. <laughs> hey! You do. So, I'm going to make sure I know what that does. You can reroll one of them. Yep, but I'm going to read it just in case. <laughs> it is under feats, I believe. Features and traits. You just can't. All the accuracy. Where are you at, brother? Uh, yes. Whenever you have advantage on attack roll using one of these modifiers, you can reroll the dice once. Oh. That was just a warm up. Give me it by a magnitude of 10. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Uh, what uh, magnitude I, is that? Uh, not a magnitude. I'm going to use my 1d10 uh, right. from the Bardic Inspiration. Got it. 10! That hey. pretty good. That's so that's going to be an 11 plus 10, which is 21. 21, 21 points of damage? No. Oh, 21 hits. Yes, yes. <laughs> no. Fuck oh, that. I do way more than that. Hell yeah, that's not bad. That shit's... What? That's gonna be 10. Yeah, that that's gonna be uh, 11. It's 21. Uh, plus another 9 is 30. Plus 6 is 36 points of damage. 36 points of damage. As you uh, smash, stab your rapier deep into the gut of this beast. As uh, 36 points, right? Yep. yep. Give me one more attack yes, yes, under the red moon. But I guess we really only have this turn to kill him. Mm-hmm. Well, no, we have... And ne I think next round. Next turn. And, and then, then it's Zenith. Yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah. Hey, kind you of picked up my, my, my language to... unit clues. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, yeah, one more try. So, as you, you stab uh, his brother's rapier, as he he takes it into his gut, and he's looking, his eyes are wild. He's looking uh, all around at you. He's seeing the organ smashing Rodak, and he is going to uh, lean forward and make a bite attack against you, Vandris. Actually, shit, he already used his thing on, on Anulin. That was ill-advised. Disadvantaged. And disadvantaged. And that's still gonna hit. I'm gonna uncanny dodge. Okay. So, uh, as uh, he looks at you and he says, like, <laughs> only I can escape death. Only those are who are willing to do what it takes are able to escape death. None of you will. And he sinks his fangs into you. Ah! As you're going to take 
15 points of piercing damage and... Oh, fuck. 15, wow, this is horrible. And 10 points of necrotic. So I'll take 13 uh, No, no, damage. hold on. Uh, 16 oh. points of necrotic. And your maximum HP drops by 16. It's wait, only one hit. Wait, wait, but I still take the full max HP? No, no, no. So you you have eight. the necrotic eight. and eight. then so drop yeah. Yeah. Half of each. Dangerous <laughs> mystery. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is real. Uh, as he's looking around wildly, his eyes, he's he's covered in wounds on your onslaught that you're that you're dealing to him. Uh, and he's that's his his business, and so it's a layer action's turn as he as the organ is going to let out you hear it playing this haunting music and it is going to let out this horrible blast of sonic thunder damage that blasts outwards in a cone that'll hit let's see how this business actually fucking works is it a shadow 30 foot cone so can i hit annulin no i can't if i can't no not i'd have to hit him here yeah no, i'd have to no. get that yeah so all of you Make a constitution saving throw. Fuck. Con, you say? Yep. In the cone? In the cone. Is it a poisonous? <laughs> no, it's not a poisonous thunder attack. Fuck. Uh, How are you feeling, Rodak? It's my uh, turn next. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it con? I got a 13. 13, that's a fail. Ooh. Fuck me. Uh, 17. Son of a... 17 passes. And Thank you, bless. I'm not great. Amiria gets a natural one. And so both Vandris... And so, uh, so all of you, so you, Vandris is going, and Amiria are going to take 16 points of thunder damage as this horrible blast of music blasts and get you, uh, you both get knocked back 15 feet away from the organ. God, are you guys okay? As you get blasted, and this horrible blast that that Amira gets slammed by reminds you very much of the homunculus, uh, of what happened to homunculus, homunculus, as she gets slammed and uh, takes a good amount of damage here, and she's looking pretty rough. And with that, uh, you take half of that. You're not pushed oh, back. Oh, how much damage was it? Sorry. Uh, it was 17. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty bad. Uh, 17 is... Half 17 is... <laughs> <laughs> so the orchid just clapped his cheeks. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Colonel. <laughs> Colonel. Uh, Did you say girdle? Colonel. Oh. It's the anyway. It's the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like that's disgusting. I'm now imagining an organ with a girdle on. Girdle. <laughs> she is going to look at Alphonse and. I look at him and say, she, she stands up, getting blasted back. She pulls the hair out of her eyes, and she looks at him, and he's like, I'm gonna get inside your fucking head. And she clangs her swords together in this reverberating sound of, after getting blasted by sound, it seems to reverberate through the skull of, uh, Is that a of Alphonse. That's her spell. Or is it, oh, oh you have not gone. I have Sylvia not gone. Oh, wait. It's Big Bad too. Oh, I apologize. So, Sylvia, you're up. No, that doesn't happen. We all glimpse the future. Ah! Yeah. Um, I am going I'm to... Hi, Magentro. Um, um, I'm going to um, use a bonus action, and I'm going to... Uh, no, no, I'm not going to do that. I don't know what to do. Oh, my God. This is really tough. This is really hard, Mike. <laughs> um, you have potions, you dumbass. I am gonna cast. I'm gonna cast polymorph on the organ. You do that. Go ahead. Versus oh, 19. I, I gotta make a. I gotta. Oh, I, good thing I actually wrote down the fuck. Is it a wind saving throw? What is it? Don't turn it into a T Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy! It's wisdom! You wanna guess his wisdom modifier? The negative two? Minus one! Oh, no, minus four! Minus four! Yeah, no, it fails! It's now a little tiny frog. Aww. You see Sylvie 
cast out her arm, and in and you see the organ start to just and, and and Rodak, you see, you feel like it's gonna smash you again, and it actually starts to get smaller, no. and it turns green and gets fleshy, and it's like it lands, and it says ribbon, <laughs> smashing ribbon, <laughs> and then I'm gonna use my bonus action to oh, be yeah. over here next to Rodak, and I am. Um, I'm just going to hold out my potions to him. Um, to superior have, potions. Wait, we're a little, oh, we have a little frog right here. Oh, we do. My we have food. the front, the, the alien frog. frog. The OG, the OG, the OG frog. frog. The polymorph frog. From long ago. <laughs> there you go. As you polymorph the fucking frog. You gotta remake that. You, I think you can do a better job now. Okay. I mean, that's, so, that's what I do for my And friend. the final boss, or one of the final bosses of our first arc, uh, Anulin was turned into I a spent frog. the entire fucking thing as a frog. So, so well, you, spent, like, you also spent three hours making that. You sculpted a little frog. Because I was a frog the <laughs> whole time. Because she was a frog so the whole time. So I literally just made a frog. Yeah. <laughs> so he kept it. Yep, that's me. Okay. With that, he is going to... I think he used all of his... No, I think he has one legendary action left. And he's unable to do that. He's going to go towards you, Rodak, and sm- slice you with his claw. I'm, 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 yep. Oh, she can, like, do something to miss. And he's gonna miss. Ooh. And barely misses as you dodge out of the way. And then it is his turn, however. And with that, he is going to... He just did too much damage to keep him in the fight. No, I would say it was a great call. Are you kidding? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, just, I'm like, I'm like, huh? I see to stay conscious. I mean, we, we've been doing do. really well. Yeah. Like again, I'm, I'm waiting for the twist here, right? Because we're running out of time, so I'm waiting for what the twist is going to be. But nobody's gone down, right? I mean, like, this is we're okay. Yeah, we've got we've got ways to keep you alive. This I'm just want to make sure I'm doing this as great as I possibly can. <laughs> I'm like out of fucking spells now. Okay, so what he's going to do is, uh, once again, his claw glows with fiery magic, and it shoots into his mouth, and and I'm gonna see who I can hit. Please don't hit me. With a fireball. I don't want to get my shit fucked. <laughs> can I hit everybody? Not a Myria. Not a Myria, but it can everybody else. Everyone make a dexterity saving throw. I'd love to. Dexterity, you say? I can, yes. Ooh. 15. Good. 15. Uh, that fails. Can I use the chest to face? Okay. Oh, can I add? Uh, yeah, you may. I, I, I'm not opposed to it. We have, what, two left? Can uh, I use one? <laughs> You may. I can use a, a bardic, right? On that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You may. Woo! We have one twist of fate. Twist of fate left. What's the pass? Holy Do we know? Sh- no, 15's a fail. So 16 is probably a pass. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to try one more time? It's our last one. Did you pass? Yes. I think. It's I would worth, like to try. I think one it's more worth time. using the last yeah. one. Oh yeah. Bingo. 14, 15, all right. 17, nice. 18, 20. You should be good. Five in. So I, I failed, but I'll only take half. 14. Jesus Christ. 14. We are out of twisted fate. Yes. 19. Out? We are we out. Are out. God damn it. Yeah, Richie used four. 22 <laughs> points of damage total is the max. Oh. So I'm the only one who takes anything so I 11. take half. 11 for half, so yeah. So Everyone takes 11 then, right? Yeah. Oh, succeeded. Oh, I succeeded. Yeah, special. Okay. Yeah, my So end. everyone. Oh, I the twist of fate thing works now. Oh, hey! hey! It's been hey! It's been it's been been what a twist! Twist! Everyone, twist! all subscribers have two emotes! I think Mel was, was the first one to come up with that idea, weren't you? Or let it rip. Somebody knows. Yeah, let, let it rip, buddy. It's our twist of fate. We, we can thank Derek for creating yeah. that. Yes, thank you, Derek. It's, it's, yeah. It's, it's a swallow. Really thank awesome. you, Derek, so cool. for creating the moon tokens. Uh, yeah, really appreciate it. They look great. That's custom, all custom. So thank you for, once again, allowing me to execute on my vision. As the fireball erupts out and explodes onto you. Rodak, you're up. It's 11 uh, damage. 11 damage total. That's, that's oh, did half. you succeed? That's the half. That's half. I succeeded. Yeah. Everyone succeeds Everyone, except for so, me. Yeah. And so, so we all take half. You all take half. So eleven points of damage. So I will. What have, do I have this your detail? Oh! oh, no. oh, oh yeah. Thank you, Thank you so much. Wow. We have so a nice. twist of fate. Um. We have a twist of fate. My feet. My beard is singed. Mm-hmm. Staying Stay alive. Staying alive. I love that ego. That's ha, so awesome. Ha, ha. Staying alive. 
<gasps> Make sure oh, it's inside the D20 yeah. shape. Okay, I gotcha. But uh, there we go. We got Twisted Fates inside a crystal ball. Um, yeah. A crystal I, uh, ball. And so as, as he, is, he explodes and he looks around at all of you, his eyes are okay. wide as he it is... And, and he will actually fly back. What? Where? Uh, yeah, he'll fly back. Where? Uh, towards the organ, where the organ was. So he'll fly back uh, 30 feet, because that's what he can do. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Remember, he has flyby. Yeah, I know, but hold on. So it would be there, that's 30. Yeah. We've got about 45. I can have a bonus action ash. Fuck this guy, I'm killing his ass. How does Sentinel work? Uh... He has flyby, you can't opportunity attack him. Anyway, yeah, that's fine. So he flies away, and he's, he perches back, still holding the cup. And he looks at all of you, and he says, like, not much longer now. There's nothing you can do. You cannot stop this. I have worked far too long. I have sacrificed far too much. None of you know anything about sacrifice. And with that, it's Rotterdam. Oh, shit. Uh, where's my D4? As a frog is ribbiting. So I'm going to just ribbit. sprint past this frog. One, two, three, four, five. Ribbit. Ribbit. Ribbits of opportunities. Ribbit. You. Um, <laughs> and you have I'm going to run up to him and I'll, I'll love you so say, much. Alphonse, you're, you're out of time. And I'm going Nova. to attack Nova. And that is a natural 20. Yes! Uh, and I will like to use the Sundering Strike of Acheron. Avernus. Of Avernus. You're, Thank you. That was at advantage, right? That was at advantage. Yeah. Um, so I rending matter, his but... person, so 18s, 19s, and 20s are crits. Um, oh, shit! For everyone? For everyone. For one round. my next turn. Let's <gasps> fucking go! And I like to make it a menacing attack, too. Okay. Okay. This is, my, this is my dance. Is that your demon ability? What's the DC yeah. on that? What's the DC on menacing? Um... Let's see. Sorry, sorry. Um, so 17 to 20? I or think it's 17. 17. 17. Uh, as you slam into him with full force and threatening him that he's out of time, your axe glow or your sword glows with hellish, devilish fury. And as he sees that, his eyes grow wide with terror and he has to bring, pull all of himself to not be feared with his last legendary resistance. Ooh. He's not feared, but he's weakened. Uh, where, where is he? Sorry, I'm, this is on the Okay, there we go, sorry. Uh, so damage from my first attack. Holy moly. Sure fell. Okay, so uh, five, 10, um, uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Damage. 20, 29 points of damage? Yes. Okay, nice. Cool. Um, I would like to attack again. Okay. I'm going to make it a power attack. Let's see what happens here. Does it have to be a, a natural roll of 18, 19, 20? Yes. Yes. Okay. 11, 12, 15, 14, 20, oh, whatever. Right advantage and everything as long as we're under that. Six, seven, eight, nine, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 25 damage. 25 damage? Okay. Yeah. You are smashing your sword over and over and over again. That's a crit. Woo! 19, baby. 19. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh, actually, He's I, not even going to get to my turn. You guys are going to destroy this guy. Uh, I'm going to make it a, uh, a, a menacing attack. So, hold on, like so. you do. Yeah. Oh wow, we ran out of music. Holy Yikes. shit. Re reloop that shit. Uh, I, need, so. I need it in my veins. That was a three hour and two minute loop. Mm. I want everyone to know that. Sounds about right. Wow, we. Come on, man. Don't, don't it's oddly this. quiet. Like, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't think. Uh, that's okay. You have to re roll all those. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Much better. Wow. Holy shit. Ten. What an insane ability. Ten. Yeah, you double all that shit. Like literally double, uh, triple the damage. Ten, ten. Uh, triple, triple, so double, double. 20, 10, 10, 10. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, uh, 43 damage. 43 damage as you smash your sword into your slashing and hacking as he is starting to uh, 43 points of damage. Yep. Make an dexterity saving throw. 
Uh, 21. That passes as a massive blade of uh, soul wine shoots out at you. 43 points of damage. Hold on. Oh, God. I just, I just need to math this. Punished. 90. Worth it. Worth. That's two attacks, right? Yeah. yeah. He is looking very... He's looking rough and he's wild. Yeah, he's not going to make it to me. I would like to use action surge. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't making it. He's <laughs> he done so. He wants so bad. Thirsty. Oh, Ooh. wow. Hold on. Five, six, seven, okay. eight, five, nine, ten. I can do math, guys. Eleven. No, that misses. Uh-huh. And it misses. As finally as this Are one. Are you it again? What? You're doing it again? It's three attacks. I'm doing two more attacks. Oh. oh. 19. 19 crits. Um, That'll be it. I'll make that a menacing attack or whatever, yeah. Never get to attack with advantage. <laughs> Two, three, four, Never five, get to attack six. With advantage. That's big. Six. Ten. That's a lot. Uh sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. Uh forty damage. Forty. Okay, he is he is getting a beat and you're slashing and smashing and smashing. One he's more. just No! No! He's going Nova. Oh, I miss. Five. Okay. Hold on. Six, seven. Eighteen is nine. Seven, eleven, twelve. No, I missed. Eighteen is his AC. And he's like, no! Dang you on the fire. I hope so. I hope so. Amiria deserves she it. She deserves it. And, and does the demon guy talk say anything? Or what was that? Did he say anything? The, the, the oh, yeah, guy. He's just, he used his Oh, guy. I forgot! Yeah. And as you channel the he- the fiery uh, hellfire of the Vermis, of the war-torn battlefield of that plane, of that circle, you hear you feel the sickness in your stomach before you power your attacks, and you hear a voice in the back of your head. All right, his time has run out. Fuck this guy. And. With that, right, his time has run out. It's Emiria, and she is going to walk up and says, "Okay, you thought you could get inside of all of our heads, out of everyone's heads. I'm gonna get inside of yours." And with that, then she's gonna take her scimitars and clang them together and do a sonic attack that racks uh, Alphonse's brain. As he needs to make a saving throw. Oh, fuck. Come on, Mary. Chop his head off. And he passes. As he grabs his head. Oh, thank you for the follow, Paladin Gill. Thank you, Paladin Gill. Well, thank you, Paladin Gill. Gil. Gil. Pal- Paladingle. Could oh, also be <laughs> Paladingle. As he grabs his head, he's like, I will not go out like this. I am Alphonse LeBlanc. And um, with that, he's going to use his legendary action to kill anyone who dangerous get the kill. <laughs> he's going to lean down and try to bite Rodak. And that's going to hit. You take, oh wow, that's awful. 15 points, or no, 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 uh, 12 points of piercing damage. Apologies for my bad math. 12 points of piercing, and 13 points of necrotic as your HP lowers by 13. Max HP. As it tears into your flesh. Are these permanent effects? Until long rest. You say 13, right? 13 necrotic, that lowers your HP. Okay, oh, hang on, sorry. All right, I'm going- I thought I was waiting for something. Two. Um, I guess I'll just kind of move up here so I'm in line of sight and then fire two arrows. Dumbs up. Alright, so that's a whole bunch. That, uh, that hits, yeah. Does not crit though. 17. Crit. That does crit. Oh wow. Fuck yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yay, I guess. <laughs> Alright. So, if anybody gets this, but Sylvie and Amiria, it's a travesty. 
Fuck you, this is no, my friend. Fuck you, fuck you. Fuck off. <laughs> he keeps taunting me, not you. <laughs> he wanted my soul, not yours. Kill him, this bitch. 16. Uh, 21 plus 8 is 29. Okay, so 29 on the crit. Is that right? I, I don't know, Annulin. What is it? You roll 2d8 plus your modifier. But you crit, so it should be 48. Oh, 48. Yeah, so that was 48 and then two of the hunter's mark. So 29. And then you yeah, so that's right. Okay. Okay. And then. Um, yeah, not everyone can hit like Rodak. That is 12 plus 8 is 20, so 49 total. 49 total? The only way I can hit like using that crit. 16d6. 49. What would max damage mm-hmm. on that be? 16 times 6 plus 2 plus 8 plus 6. So plus 17 times 6. Plus What's your max time. damage? 17 times 6 plus okay. 16. So, so he, he, you fire both, both fire in. You hear a crack as he's looking down, looking around. The his flesh is falling off. He's looking rough. He's hanging on though. He's stealing himself. And with that, he is going to use another legendary action. And I've got big, I, I've got big plans. <laughs> You're gonna make this. And he's going to grab um, Rodak by the face. And you need to make a con saving throw. Save the line. Or no, I said attack roll. Apologies. Nah, fuck. That's gonna hit. And you take. Fourteen points of cold damage. I'm down. And oh, con saving throw. While you're, yeah, you're down. Fuck, are you serious? As his claw <laughs> grabs you. As you held out potions for me, he just not. I know them. he didn't take them. I yeah. have potions. He just ran. I have plenty. Okay. Uh, with that, uh, with that, uh, he grabs your claw, and you feel this chill touch as you go ice cold, and you see Rodak fall unconscious. Uh, with that, uh, it is Monsters uh, One's turn, oh. and oh, Rodak's back up. Two points of healing to everybody. Hey, hey. The moon. Is that, then is that already halved? What is that already halved? Ooh. Oh no, it's not. So one point of healing. One point of healing. Still up, brother. So as the moon starts to good enough, <laughs> uh, so the the red of the blood moon starts to full to fill. Anyone? As the entire room fills with a ghastly red light. It's a big one. And you are entirely surrounded. As Alphonse looks up, not much longer now. It is almost at its zenith. Go ahead, Banners, you're up. All right, I'm going to, if I'm not within 45 feet, I'm gonna use my bonus action to dash, but I should be able to make it. Yep. This is it, ladies and gentlemen, come on. Right here, I just want to crit, I want to crit so bad. Uh, I'm gonna use Elven Accuracy. Come on, baby, 18, 19, 20? 18, 19, 20. 17. Oh, so close. Fuck me, man, it's all right, it should be good. I just want to get the killing blow because I have plans. 10, uh, 20, 27, 37, 43 points of damage. 43 points of damage, okay. Um, Ask me the question. You stab the rapier and as I wanted to give him near the kill. It ignites into flame. As it igni- as 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 Edward's blade. Final chapter. Edward's final chapter. His trusty rapier sinks into the flesh of this beast, singeing him. Putrid muck is falling out of this undead monster that is trying to be filled by this horrible soul wine. Is, he seems to be losing, losing his grip as his eyes are wild with hatred, as he's eventually is clawing at the moon. And uh, that, he's out of legendary actions. Oh, but there's a layer action. And with that layer action, 
he's going to. The organ can't even do two of its things. No, nope. organ frog. Uh, he's gonna say, save me, children of the night! And he's going to resurrect the six bats, who are going to, uh, six undead bats, one on everybody. And then uh, an extra one on Emilio. Okay. One on Anulin, gonna miss. One on Vandris, gonna miss. One on Rodek, gonna miss. One on Sylvie, you've gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> Two on Emilia. One is going to hit. As it sinks its fangs in, she's like, <clears throat> and she stumbles down a little bit. And she's looking very weak, but she stands back up. It's like, you are not gonna take me down, you son of a bitch. And with that, it's Sylvie's turn. Yep. Um, I'm this is going it. to move to Amiria. And I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Healing Word as I grab her hand and I say, Let's do this together. This is for Hissy. This is for us. She clenches your hand tight. And then I'll let you roll the healing for her because um, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. Yeah, you don't mind. I will do that. Uh, uh, how does healing? What healing? What level healing word do you have? Uh, it's it's your first level. Oh, first level. Okay, yeah. I'll roll it. Um, and then um, I'm going to fire all of my glitter lances into him, and it's all at advantage, right? Yep. One crit. Uh, another one's not a crit, but it hits. And two crits. No way. I don't believe it. Fuck yeah. It's okay. So multi attack gets you. Yeah. And so the first one is 18, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna fire that into him. This one is for Hissy! And then I'm gonna do the next one, and that's also a crit, and so that's gonna be 11. Oh, Just tell me what it is for. 16. Well, I don't remember what the first oh. one was. So that one was 16. Do you remember okay. what the first one was? I do not. Does anyone remember? Does anyone listen? Well, you said 17. Perfect. 17. Um, this one is for your family. And then eight. So, can you do the math? You're better at that. Yep. And this one is for my friends. 17, 14, and eight? No, 17, 17 16, 16 eight. and eight. It's like 34, 33, Hold on. 32. 17 plus 18. Oh, sorry, no. Shit. 17, 17 plus 16, 16 plus, plus 8. 41 damage. 41 damage? It's gotta do it. And this is for my family. And if this doesn't kill you, at least Amiria can finish you off and just know you said that you didn't think that I have drive. Well, fuck yourself, because that's my fucking drive. Uh, Amir, you, you oh cast God. your healing word. <laughs> And you, you, it's, you see Amiria's wounds close up. She's bitten up. She's torn up. She's singed. She smiles as she looks down at you. And she says, for, for Hissy for and Hissy. Sylvie, as you cast your Eldritch Blasts, how would you like to do this? I want... I, got <laughs> I want them to all fly into him and kind of hit him simultaneously, shooting him up into the air. I want the... F fur to detach from him as it almost looks like the moonlight that he had forced is conjuring and singeing around him and I want him to just burn with fairy fire. So, you cast all three of your <sighs> elder blasts as he is his fur and hair is already singed by Rodex's horrible infernal fire. Vandris's uh, blue fire, the vengeance of Edward and he's covered in wounds, his flesh is rotting. All three, push, 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 as these greens shifting to pink, shifting back to green and then back to pink, and then all of a sudden you channel all of your furious vengeance and they shift to the glow of the moon, the blood moon, as they blast Alphonse up. He flies up into the air with the Eldritch Blast as he ignites fully. His flesh is rending, it's falling off. He's letting out, screeching, as it looks like the Blood Moon is exploding inside of him. As I grab my iPad. <laughs> as you unleash this final assault onto the corrupted, horrible, devilish monstrosity that Alphonse has become, 
You see the blazing infernal light dim in those huge bat-like eyes. You see his form attempt to shift and change as tiny wisps of red mist puff from the numerous wounds you've dealt to the creature. However, Sylvie, the entire time you've kept the mirror firmly on him, Alphonse cannot turn. In one final act, he turns his head skyward, unable to form words, and reaches up with his free hand, grasping, pleading towards the nearly full blood moon at its zenith before the unholy life leaves the monster and with a low pathetic screech it falls to the catacomb floor with a thud crumpled into a miserable pile of flesh bone and fur the rubies and the soul wine of the chalice of agony still clutched upright in the stiff dead claw dims as the humming transmutation magic surrounding the circle dims and it's all snuffed out along with the creature's life. Immediately, you see wisping spectral light as the spirit of Alphonse LeBlanc is ejected from the soul gems. Its face, once vacant, is now wrenched with terror as the soul rises up into the air towards the hovering circle of spirits of the betrayed, finally stopping to face Philip. Then you hear Alphonse's petrified voice echo around you. Father, please don't let him take me. I feel the darkness encroaching, and his eyes, they are on me. I am so afraid. My son, you ran for as long as you could, but death comes for us all. The hunt is finally over. You deserve every moment of the fate that awaits you. I, I just want it to be great. I just want it to be remembered. No. I can see him. I can feel his gaze. I can feel the darkness. It's it's all around me. Please! I don't want to go! Please don't take me now! With a final terrified wail, the soul shifts from an ethereal blue to a pitch black that shakes and gyrates violently for just a moment. And then you all witness the last remnant of Alphonse LeBlanc fade forever. A quiet falls over the crypt, broken only by your heavy breathing, as the six betrayed souls look down upon you and slowly disappear. Above, the enormous full moon, now returned to its normal color, starts to become shrouded in cloud cover, having just dipped past its zenith. The five of you stand among the bodies of the fallen as the Chalice of Agony stands on the stone, cold floor of the catacombs still somehow not having spilled a single drop. What do we do with this thing? Um, well, I don't know, but Santa, um, say true, he gave me this rod. Do you think that we can somehow use it to get in contact with whatever that creature is and he can take it back? We definitely do not want that thing on this no. plane at all. No, of course not. I suggest that your idea is the best that I've heard before anyone suggests anything else. Well, nobody else suggested anything I'm not going to give them the chance. Oh. I think whatever you were going to do, we should try it. And oh, stay I didn't as... have any ideas. I was going to leave that up to you guys. We just need to stay away from that God's forsaken cup. So, it, it didn't go with him. It's just right there. Yeah. Amiria, are you yeah. okay? We did it. For Hissy. You turn, and you see Amiria's crouched by Hissy's body, having been roughed up by the, the fight. Some of it singed, some of it slashed, stomped on, and... I'm going to press to digitation it to make it look as nicely as possible. She's gripping the tiny hand over her chest as she's kind of giving one last stroke of the hair, and she puts a hand on her cheek, and she looks back at all of you. And she nods and says, we did it, for Hissy. It, we did. It, it might not have been as private as you wanted, but your goodbye to her was lovely, and, and I'm glad that you got the chance to say goodbye. I didn't... She's, she seemed proud of you. She, she always said it, but now I believe it. 
At least I got to say goodbye. Not everybody gets that. Yeah, it's true. You got justice. I did. Whatever that son of a bitch was talking about. I'm, I hope it's ten times worse than he thought. I... They're all gone. The, the ghosts are all... They're all... They all disappeared. They all faded. They all faded. You were left among the bodies of the fallen. And Emiria looks at the chalice and she takes a few steps towards it and says, we... Let's just take this thing and dump it out, I guess. It hasn't spilled a drop that entire time. So does that mean there's still souls trapped in it? Yeah, we gotta let him go. Do we even know if that's how that works? No. I don't... But we sure don't want someone to get their hands on it with it full of souls. That would be basically the same situation we were just in could, all over again. Could you use your mage hand to try to pick it up? Well, I don't know. It depends on how much it weighs. Um, how much would a golden cup weigh? And then you add in the volume of the liquid inside of it. What's the going rate for the weight of a soul? I don't know. Wow. Well, it's, it's, um, how much can you lift with it? Five. Pounds. Yeah, there's no way it weighs that much. Unless it's, like, magically heavy for some reason. Like, a cup's not going to weigh more than five pounds. It's not a huge cup, right? It's just a, mm-hmm. it's just a normal a cup. Right. It's like a goblet, yeah. It's like just a, a larger, a larger golden... Yeah. yeah. Five yeah. would be very heavy. Well, you were doing some of that crazy moon magic, um, which was really cool, by the way. Uh, is there some kind of cleansing ritual or something you can do, and we'll just pour it into that, or...? No, I just... Hissy always talked to me about Saluna and, and, and what and what her, her faith and her church did. And so when I gained the ability to learn powers from all walks of magic, I took a few that reminded me of Hissy. That's really sweet. Okay. I want to walk closer to it and just like look down at it and see if, if the wine's moving okay. at all. Uh, so as you walk up to it, uh, you you look down, and as you get kind of directly in front of it, I'm going to need everyone to make a wisdom saving throw at disadvantage. Disadvantage? Yep. Is it magic? I got a 10. It is magic. An 18. Be normal. Mine's garbage. 12. Uh, uh, 9. No. 15. 15. Suddenly, all of you feel your limbs stiffen. Oh, no. Please. And your mouths close tight. The silence of the tomb is shattered by the sound of roaring fire as the medallions around your neck no erupts with colorful horizontal pillars of flame blasting from the eyes and mouths of the skull-shaped pendants. Orange, green, purple, and pink light bathe the crypt in a chaotic, ominous glow, and cast shadows from all angles that dance along the walls as you start to feel the world around you get larger and larger, completely unable to move. However, you realize now that you're actually getting smaller and smaller as you feel the unchanging necklaces slide off your shrinking shoulders and fall to the ground around you. Finally, as your diminution finishes, and you realize that your whole composition of your body has changed. You feel that your skin is burlap, your insides moss, your hair is yarn, your eyes two large buttons. The moment that each of you realizes that you've been transmogrified into a tiny voodoo doll is the moment that you see the dancing shadows on the wall shift, coalesce, and stretch into a silhouette of a tall, thin man in a top hat. Did you all think this was over? Did you all really think that a scared little boy running from the devil was the real power in our way? Oh no, no, no. The shadow of death loomed over this swamp long before he was even a twinkle in his daddy's eye. But you do have my sincere thanks for taking care of the pest that moved in and raided me pantry and for paving the way to this beautiful cup. Now I'm more of a rum man myself 
but in a pinch I can be persuaded to enjoy a fine wine. <laughs> the form of Baron Samadhi takes several energetic steps as he nearly dances across the room to another shadow projected on the wall. In its black silhouette, it appears as nothing more than a simple goblet. But as the shadow man removes his top hat and leans down, you realize that he's reaching for the shadow cast by the chalice of agony. The silhouette of his hand seemingly grasps the rim of the cup shadow, and as Samity lifts up, you see, incredibly, the golden chalice rises in the air by itself after being pulled from the cold, dead hands of the monster that was Alphonse LeBlanc. You see Samity hold the silhouette of the goblet above his overturned top hat and release the grip. The shadow of the chalice and the, uh, and the hovering chalice both fall. And as the silhouette disappears into the projection of the top hat, the chalice of agony seemingly blinks out of existence before your very eyes. The shadow man lets out another laugh as he flicks his arms out and stylishly places the top hat back on his head. Ha <laughs> ha, now that I have this little prize that the fancy boy got all nice and ready, I think it's about time I pay a visit to my old associate. Who needs a little baby whelp of a shadow dragon when you can have an ancient Draco lich? And besides, it would be a real shame to waste such a mighty soul. Baron Samadhi extends his hands outward and spreads his long spindly fingers as thin lines of shadow extend down from them like marionette strings. Once they reach about knee height, they all uniformly stop as from out of the ends of each strand, additional shadow stretches, grows, and combines into a bloated, draconic shape that ravenously lashes its enormous mouth and flings about its long tongue as Samadhi gleefully puppets it. What do you think, Mr. Guru? Should we host a post Nui Blanc blowout? The pesky bat in the attic may have crashed our party, sure, but Agwe is chock full of succulent, savory souls fit for a real banquet. We may have missed the holy feast day, but any feast, any day can be a feast with the right attitude. You know this better than anyone. The shadow man moves his arms and fingers about wildly as his knees bend and shake, practically dancing as the silhouette of the dragon spreads its wings, flings its tail from side to side, and turns its huge horn head seemingly towards the five of you. Suddenly, a separate familiar voice impossibly booms out to you. Music to my ears! I have gone far too long without a meal, and I am voraciously craving the culinary excellence that only Agwe can provide. And for an hors d'oeuvre to cleanse the palate, I believe that vengeance is just the dish. Samadhi lets out a high-pitched laugh as he flicks his fingers up, and the shape of the dragon along with the strings poof into nothingness. I couldn't have said it better myself. Now I really must be going to start planning the biggest party that Agwe has ever seen. It will be thirsty work, but thanks to you, my new associates, I got a cup that runneth over. <laughs> I'll see you all when the other side comes to this one. The head of the shadowy silhouette turns to profile, and you see an absurdly large grin stretch halfway along its face before it turns back to you. Two agile hands shoot inward, seemingly adjusting an unseen lapel. As Baron Samadhi tips his hat towards you, a long slender finger moves to in front of where his mouth would be, and with a all the wild, colorful flame immediately extinguishes, and the room is plunged into darkness. And that is what we're on the session. I hate you so much. Oh, <laughs> In like the best way possible, but I hate you so fuck. much. <laughs> that music, and it just keeps going as if to taunt and tease us. If you want to find out what we think about this, you, and you are a sub, you should join us for Evangelist and Chill. It's going to be afterwards. good. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be good. Gonna you be know, good you, you think. You think things are gonna happen, and never, never. No. I, I try to guess, and yeah. yeah. So just stay tuned. Holy yeah, fuck! No, no. I, I get to yell at Rodak and Avengers. <laughs>
Anyways, uh, I guess we'll be back on Friday. Thank you guys. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Oh, fun fact. We didn't mention this at the beginning of the stream, but it was Ash Wednesday. It's, mid, it's past midnight. No, so it's Ash Wednesday now. And technically, it would be post midnight when you guys fought Alphonse in the Avantress equivalent of Mardi Gras, which would be Ash Wednesday. So, like, we're literally fighting on the appropriate day. Wait, today is Ash Wednesday? In, today is in Ash Avantress. Wednesday. No, in, in real world. In real world. Right? Wow. It's, the, it's the day after Mardi Gras, right? Isn't that? Really? Right. Oh, thank you, Mohan. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tuesday was yesterday. Thank you. Yeah. Like today is thank Ash Wednesday. So thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Hey, wow. Thank Yay. you for the, uh, And now you get to sub. watch the Avengers. You get to watch the Avengers and chill. We're going to raid somebody. And uh, we're going to be posting the Avengers and chill right after we finish filming it. Um, and that will be in our sub only Discord yeah. channel. And so, yeah, we'll talk. You, you, It's going to be a good one, guys. I have a feeling. Thanks for staying up late. I know it was a long fight. I apologize. No. Uh, Dusty, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, Dusty. That yeah. is why people hate DMs. Well, Cat that ate the canary. <laughs> We're gonna raid the whole. We're gonna raid the whole role play. Uh, please uh, spread the love of the Avantress fam. Yes. Oh, Thanks so thank much, guys. God. We love you guys. Thanks to the subs and our followers and our fans and oh, you and all. We love you guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> See you on Friday. Bye. Bye guys. Bye. We're gonna go feel bad about ourselves. <laughs>